Hey there, mister. Who let the simpleton out of the asylum? I said, who let the simpleton out of the asylum? Howdy. I'm getting kind of hot for them voting rights. Hello, 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 folks at home. We are out here, and we are live continuing the Pull Teeth era as we continue to talk about the world of video, and more specifically, the world of Starfield. Starfield launches in just 64 days. Even sooner if you get the uh, expensive collector's edition. Okay, you get early access. I don't know how early, but you get early access. So 64 days until September 6th, Starfield is launching. And as of this broadcast, 64 days until September 6th, we have no raw gameplay. We have no raw gameplay of a game releasing earlier than 64 days from now. Now, is that a reason to be overly concerned? I'm not entirely sure. But I'm just telling you the reality of the situation as it stands today on the 4th of July, just 64 days until September 6th, and there is no raw gameplay of Starfield. There's no raw gameplay of Starfield. We have talked about the concerns for Starfield. You guys don't care. And that's a problem. You should care. Because this could be another Cyberpunk 2077. And it might also not be. But it could very well be. We have no raw gameplay of this game right here, Starfield. We have no raw gameplay. And it releases in just 64 days. They said it's going to be a modder's paradise. They said only 10% of Starfield planets have life on them. And modders are going in and they're saying, hey, no DLSS, no problem. The modders are going to take care of it. So this is a game that screams, and I'm hoping it's not, okay? I'm hoping it's not. But this is a game that screams unfinished day one. You can't tell me otherwise. We are just 64 days away until September 6th, and I need everyone in here to start participating. If you're going to spend your 4th of July with world-class veteran video game critic Michael Does Life, I need you to please consider hitting that like button and communicating in this chat, okay? Please, for the love of all that's holy. We are just 64 days away until Starfield launches, and this is what happened with Cyberpunk. You guys didn't care, and then you cared when it was a problem. Okay, we're trying to tell you that this could very well be the next cyberpunk. But here's the thing. The new cyberpunk 2.0 cyberpunk phantom liberty launches in the same month in September. So even if Starfield is not the next cyberpunk, the next cyberpunk expansion is launching the same month. Cyberpunk phantom liberty. And they're already hyping that up to the moon and back, bro. The hype for Cyberpunk Phantom Liberty is stupid. It's just flat out stupid. Because they're promising an entirely different experience and so much more that just didn't make it into the base game. And yet there's gameplay out for Cyberpunk Phantom Liberty because it's not a new game. That's the reality. And it looks exactly the same. Oh, they finally added Police Chase AI. Wow, three years after the game came out? You know, let's give CD Projekt Red a round of applause. You stupid idiots want to sit there and consume. And that's the problem. That's everything that's wrong with the games industry. You don't want to listen to world class. You don't want to listen to someone who has his thinking cap on. You want to sit there and consume on a daily basis. That's what your intent is. That's what your interest is. And you don't care about anything else. You want to sit there and be the stupid grubby consumer that you are. You're fat, you're overweight, and guess what? That's cutting yours off your life. So get with it or get out of the program. Because guess what, folks? The consuming has to stop. This is on Game Pass Day 1. I'm going to tell you right here, right now. Starfield is on Game Pass Day 1. There's no reason to go out and buy this game for $60, $70. There's no reason. There's not a damn reason why you should be going out and buying Starfield for $60 or $70. Now, look, it's your money. It's your choice. Do what you want. But I'm saying right now, as of this broadcast, 64 days until Starfield, there's no raw gameplay, and there's many concerns with Starfield, and yet you don't care. We come out here on a daily basis, and you just sit there and tell me, and you whine, and you say, oh, Michael, I don't care. Oh, Michael, my work schedule. Oh, Michael this. Oh, Michael that. Literally, no one cares. Literally, no one cares. 
But then you're going to pretend to care when, when September 6 rolls around and Starfield's a total disaster, and you're going to be like, oh, yeah, Michael was right. No, you're not going to say that because you don't give world class the time of day. That's so sad. That's so sad. It's the saddest it's ever been. They don't want to listen. They don't want to listen to world-class veteran video game critic. And I was right about Cyberpunk 27. Oh, Michael, the broken clock is right. You know, they just sit there and they come up with that stupid saying, a broken clock is right twice a day or some shit like that. It just makes zero sense. I mean, it's so sad. It's the saddest it's ever been. They don't care. They just don't care. They don't care. I'm not attacking anyone personally. But if you're a bl blind consumer and you get disappointed here with Starfield, don't come crawling back. Don't come crawling back. If you're going to go out and buy this game for $60, $70, $80, $90, $100, whatever the price is for this damn game, and you're disappointed come day one, you have only yourself to blame because you didn't play it on Game Pass. You didn't play it on Game Pass, and it's the saddest it's ever been. Well, you guys don't care. You guys don't care about Starfield because right now it's not a PlayStation exclusive. It will never be a PlayStation exclusive, and that's the problem. The biased Snowy Games media told you that this game was going to be trash, and you bought into that. You're drinking that Kool-Aid, and we told you that was going to happen weeks ago. You didn't care then. You don't care now. When are you going to start caring about this industry? You sit there and you say, oh, Michael, I got my nostalgia feelings up here. You know, Michael, I hear an old song, and it triggers that nostalgia. I want to go back in time. But really, you're living in the nostalgia right now, and you don't even know it. That's the sad part. So it's time to wake up and realize that this needs to be played at the very least on Game Pass Day 1. This needs to be played on Game Pass at the very least on Day 1. If you're not playing this on Game Pass, you're not playing it the right way. That's the reality of the situation. That is the reality of the situation. And you guys still aren't listening. I'm out here on the 4th of July preaching, and I'm spitting fact, and you don't want to listen. I told you guys, there is a reason. We're just 64 days away. There is a reason why no one, why there's no raw gameplay. There's no raw gameplay. There's more, there's no, there's no raw gameplay. There's no raw gameplay. There's no raw gameplay. So what do you want me to tell you? Guys, I was at Xbox Plaza. It's over! The Divide Super Shatted 4 pounds and 99 pence. It's more than over. TikTok has ruined this generation. Everyone is absolutely brain dead alongside social media. Get a grip you donuts it's over, syringe, 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 syringe. Is it really over? I can't tell. I don't think it is. I think it's a cycle that never ends. You know, people get hyped for these games to come out, and then they just sit there and they say it's going to be fantastic, it's going to be amazing. No one cares. Literally no one cares. That's why this industry is in the shape that it's in, because no one cares. No one cares about if the game is broken or buggy day one. They just want to make memes about it and laugh and say, oh, what a disaster. But they don't really care. You know, they're not pulling the curtain back and saying, wow, we actually care about the industry. We, You know, they're not. So what do you want me to tell you? You're not listening. That's very evident. And I, I can't help you. Because when you're disappointed come September 6th, don't come back crawling and saying, oh, yeah, Michael, you know, Cyberpunk, I mean, uh, Starfield is a disaster. Look at these articles and ask yourself, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. We're talking about no Land Rover. You can't land anywhere you want. I mean, you can, but it's, it's within certain parameters. I mean, this is not a No Man's Sky situation because you can't even fly seamlessly to different planets. So what is this game? You just visit different planets and then, you know, go do a bunch of busy chores? Well, that doesn't sound like fun. They haven't shown off the RPG elements at all. Zero RPG elements have been shown off. They showed a few conversations with the NPCs, but they haven't shown off any RPG elements here with Starfield. Zero RPG elements, and yet there's a reason to be excited about this. I mean, look, we want Xbox to get that dub, no doubt about it. And the fact that it's on Game Pass is a fantastic dub. Okay, the fact that this is on Game Pass Day 1 is incredible. That's what you need to know and understand. The fact that this is on Game Pass Day 1 is incredible. But people don't care. 
they want to go out and spend 60, 70, 80 bucks on this so they can feel even more disappointed, like, oh, fuck this shit. Now the modders are going to have to come in and fix this. And we know that they partnered up with AMD, which implies that there might not be DLSS at launch. Or at least the current latest DLSS, what is it, DLSS 3.0 with the frame regeneration and all that, you know, image manipulation. So we don't think that that is going to be at play day one because they partnered up with AMD. So you tell me how this isn't going to be a disaster. We understand that it's going to be on Game Pass Day 1, but arguably a lot of people aren't going to be playing this on Game Pass Day 1 because it's not being marketed as on Game Pass Day 1. It's not going to be on Game Pass Day 1. They're not marketing. They're not marketing the Game Pass thing. Have you seen any marketing that this is going to be on Game Pass Day 1? It's, it's on the back burner. Find the door super chatted five dollars. These geniuses will never learn. Anthem, Overwatch, Callisto Protocol. I bought Wolfenstein the New Order instead of Overwatch. Wolfenstein, I don't know what that is. Is that good or not? Those new Wolfenstein games are, um, huh. Well, there's a reason why they're on Game Pass. It's over. Holy shit, Tayland coming through really hard and really strong with the $20 super chat. Hell yeah, by the way, appreciate that. Tayland is coming Tyland through with the Bruce Wayne box. That is what we are talking about. Michael, long time, no see. What did they call Batman when he was a boy? Lil Wayne. It is, in fact, over. No DLSS support day one because of AMD sponsorship. Yep. Oh boy. Thanks, Todd. Hope those bribes put you in a bigger mansion. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying, hey, look, if you're not playing this on Game Pass Day 1, you, quite frankly, you're not playing it right. You need to be when, when September 6 rolls around, you need to be on Game Pass. Unless the reviews come out and it's a 10 out of 10 across the board, which it's not going to be. And it, 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 you know, I can't even talk about this game, guys. It's getting me flustered. You guys need to be on Game Pass for this game. Unless there's footage that comes out before September 6 that says, hey, wait a minute, this game... Uh, is, in a, is in a surprising state where it's not that buggy. It's obviously not going to be bugless. But with that said, if, if the gameplay rolls out, and it will leak because there's going to be early access, so people are going to be playing this game before September 6th, and that I can tell you because there is early access. But what you need to understand is that you need to get on Game Pass for this game, I'm telling you, because even if it's not buggy, if the game isn't going to live up to expectation, then it's going to be a disappointment for a lot of people. I've lowered my expectation. They basically remade the same showcase. I was at the Xbox Plaza last month showing you exclusive footage that you literally couldn't find anywhere else on the Internet. Okay, Literally. We were showing you the, the event, and it was a piss-poor event because it wasn't even live. It was, uh, I, don't even know how they fucking, I don't know how they did it. But it wasn't like what I thought it was going to be. And that's sad. And that's just the state of the industry. Everything's smaller scale now. There's no live events much anymore. You know, the Jeff Keighley event was live because I was out there for the Summer Game Fest. Um, but that's the Jeff Keighley special, and he can only pull in so many fucking big hits. With that said, we were out at the Xbox Plaza, and when I watched that showcase, and when I saw what they were showcasing, I thought, okay, didn't we see this last year? They showed how you could customize your character. They showed how you could customize your ship. But they didn't talk about the RPG stuff. Where do they talk about the, oh, you can go to the Thousand Planets? We already knew that. They literally told us the same thing about the game. They literally remade their own showcase with very little new. And everyone's jumping up and down like, oh, this is amazing. This, it's like, I've already seen this. It's another extended look of what we've already seen. And everyone's jumping up and down like, oh, yeah, Todd Howard's going to hit that home run. It's going to be amazing. And I certainly hope it is. Look, I'm, 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 I'm anticipating Starfield. But what you need to understand is that I'm going in, and I want to be going in with very low expectations here. And I am going to go in with very low expectations because if I go in with high expectations, the chances of being disappointed are going to be very high. If I go in with these low expectations right now, and I'm pleasantly surprised, then we can pull back and say, well, wait a minute, there's something really cool here underneath the surface, okay? But right now, after that showcase last month, and the game comes out in just 64 days, and sure, there's still plenty of time to showcase this off in a way that makes sense. Absolutely, there's probably going to be another Starfield showcase. But the fact that they didn't show off a main mission, the fact that they didn't show off, do your choices matter, the RPG mechanics, things of that nature, I mean, just shut this garbage down. It belongs on Game Pass, and you guys are still not listening. What is it going to take for you guys to listen? What is it going to take? 
I don't understand. You need to be on Game Pass day one with this game. If you have this pre-ordered already, I'm not saying cancel your pre-order. You do you, sweetheart. But I'm going to tell you what. When you're disappointed, and you will be, because this is promising a lot. 25 years in the making, bro. And you're telling me that you can't get on your spaceship and roam around the planet. That's a bunch of baloney. You're telling me that there's no Land Rover. That's a bunch of baloney. You're telling me that only 10% of the planets have life on them. That's a bunch of baloney. 25 years in the making, and this is all they have to show for? 64 days until launch, and no raw gameplay. No mission. You know, I thought when they were going to showcase this game yet again this year, last month, June 8th, 6th, whatever the fuck it was, Xbox Showcase Starfield Direct, I thought they were going to pull the curtain back and show this off in a way that made sense. I thought they were going to show off a main mission. I thought they were going to show off a main mission and say, hey, this is what the player can do. There's many ways to approach this. But they didn't even show off a main mission. It was snippet of gameplay cut to Todd Howard saying, hey, you're going to love this. And it's like, well, that's a great way to showcase it. But at the end of the day, that's a fucking sizzle reel. Where was the raw gameplay? We saw one little introduction where Todd Howard was talking about it for a little bit, and then they cut to the sizzle reel, where it's a snippet of gameplay and then them talking about how great the game is going to be. And again, the, savior, the saving grace for this experience is that it's on Game Pass Day 1. The saving grace for this experience, no matter which way it falls, is that it's on Game Pass Day 1. And even if they raise the price from now until release for Game Pass, you still need to play this shit on Game Pass Day 1 because it could very well be a disappointment. And I know that's not what people want to hear in here. Like, oh, Michael, you know, weren't you going to show? You were just shilling Starfield. Yeah, I was. I mean, I wasn't shilling it, but, you know, according to a lot of people, I was shilling it. So let's run with that. I was shilling it, right? Okay, so we went to the Xbox Plaza, literally. And we watched it, and we reacted to it, and guess what they did? They remade the same showcase that I've already seen, just with a few more things here and there. The frame rate still looked like it needed work. What did they show here? Nothing. What did we learn new about the game? Well, we learned a few new things. We learned that only 10% of the planets are going to have life on them. We also learned that it's going to be a modder's paradise. And in addition to that... The modders have to go in because they partnered up with AMD and seemingly fixed the issue of no DLSS being there day one for PC players. That's what we've learned. That's what we've learned, bro. And if it, come on. That's what we've learned. It's a bunch of baloney. I'm not salty. I'm not salty. I was out here, and you guys were shilling Battlefield 2042. You guys were telling me that Battlefield Portal was going to save the game. That Battlefield Portal was going to be the be-all, end-all mode. The saving grace to Battlefield 2042. And that you were going to go in, and you were going to be able to customize the game to your liking and create your own matches. And there was going to be endless possibilities in Battlefield Portal. In Battlefield 2042. And look how that shit show turned out. Now they're shilling Battlefield 2042. Now the bias snow games media they are shilling battlefield 2042 and nothing has changed i guarantee and i got battlefield 2042 a sealed copy by the way i have battlefield 2042 a sealed copy and i guarantee if i open that and put that in the ps5 and play that slop nothing has changed it's all marketing slop and now this idea that the game is totally different and just so much better because they listen to what? Their fans? They listen to the fans? Imagine if George Lucas came back and said, I'm rebuying Star Wars, fuck Disney, and we're going to listen to the fans. Imagine if George Lucas said that. Imagine if George Lucas came back at 85 years old and said, hey, we're going to sit down with the fans, the top 10 fanatics all across the globe, and we're going to get their input to make the next Star Wars film. Do you know how terrible that would fucking be? You never listen to the fans because if you listen to else other people you have no creative direction you have no creative vision so just shut the project down because you have no mission statement you don't listen to the fans because they don't even know what they want i ask my super fans the people that pay five dollars a month and we appreciate their loyalty and we appreciate their fucking support we very much so do but with that said i ask them what game should i play what should i do what are we thinking they don't have a clue so I don't ask people that because I am in charge and at the end of the day, 
these developers need to be in charge, and these developers need to say, hey, we're putting our foot down. And one thing I will appreciate about the new Saints role that released last year, yes, it was trash, but they put their foot down, and they said, fuck the fans. We're not making Johnny Gat in this game. We're not returning the Saints of, you know, the Saints that you knew and love. They're not coming back. It's time to get good and get over it. Because this is our interpretation of Saints Row, the Third Street Saints. They're in debt, and now they're going into an all-new life. And people say, we don't want this. We want Johnny Gat to return. We want the Third Street Saints to return that we knew and love. And then they didn't buy the game. The fans didn't buy the game. But they did, you see? The fans were there day one because they wanted to see how bad the game was. You see, this is all how it works. The fans are always going to be there day one. The same with the Final Fantasy fans. They bitch and moan about, oh, Final Fantasy, the combat has changed, the combat is trash in Final Fantasy. Yet what are they doing? They're playing the fucking game. They went out and bought it for 60 70 80 $100. They are always going to be there day one. The fans are always going to be there day one. That's what fans do. You don't understand what a fan is. The fans of WWE, they're going to watch Monday Night Raw every Monday night. And they're also going to bitch about it every Monday night. Oh, Vince McMahon is senile. Oh my God, let Triple H take reign again. They're always going to watch, and that's what WWE understands and knows. They know that the marks are going to be there regardless of the fucking quality because they are brainwashed. They are always going to be there. The fans are always going to be there. You never cater and pander to the fans because they're already locked in. They're going to be there day one. If you ask the Indiana Jones fans what they're looking for, who gives a shit because their asses are already getting there day one to see that fucking movie. You don't understand how this works. So that's one thing I will say about the new Saints Row is that they came out of the woodwork and they said, this is what we're doing and we don't give a shit if you like it. And I will applaud them for that, even though it flopped and even though it was trash. I applaud them for that because they stuck up and they said, fuck me in the ass. That's what they said. And most people won't say that. That's what they said. They had a creative vision and they stuck to it. They were committed to the vision and they said, this is our version of the Third Street Saints. This is, this is our version of this whole fucking universe. And, and the fans couldn't handle it. They wanted to romanticize about the time that they fell in love with Saints Row. They have a mental disability. That's what that is. If you're, get off the nostalgia trip, bro. These corporations breed off that shit. Get off the nostalgia trip. You gotta move on. She left you five years ago, okay? That was five years ago. Move forward. You can't live in the past. You have to move forward. The present is what matters the most, and we have a problem in here with that as well. Not on the same level, but there's certain individuals that would love to tell you that the show was so much better, and, and maybe objectively it was. But I can't bring that moment that you first found that show back. I can't bring that reality back to you because it was COVID. It was so much. It's a very different time. you got to get up off of the nostalgia trip. Go watch Stranger Things and that's all the whole fucking show is. Like, oh, we're back in the 80s and we got these synths in the background. It's all garbage. It's all unmitigated trash. But you don't care. You just don't care. And it's so sad. 30 frames per second. 30 frames per second. That was going to be the big talking point. I told you guys, but you didn't want to listen. The real Michael Myers super shatted $4.99. Iman hyped for Starfield now. The fact that it's going to be 30 FPS is kind of like a slap in the face. That's like putting a one source on a Ruth's. That Chris has nothing day. to do with it for me. Look, if the game's locked at... Th I don't give a shit about resolution or frame rate. Get the fake gamers out of here. If you care about resolution and frame rate, you're not a gamer. I will die on that hill. You are not a gamer. If you care about the resolution and frame rate, you are legitimately not a gamer. Period. End of story. You might be an esports player, and for competitive titles, frame rate does matter. But if you're telling me in a single player solo experience that frame rate is the deal breaker for you, that's not what we're talking about here. Because I disagree. I don't care about 30 frames. A lot of people do. That's fine. 
That's their prerogative. But what I can tell you is that there's many other concerns with this game. And 30 frames per second, in my opinion, is not one of them. 30 frames per second, in my opinion, is not one of them. I don't care about resolution or frame rate. I'm not a Digital Foundry loser. If you're subscribed to Digital Foundry, you might be a fake gamer. I'm only subscribed to Digital Foundry so I can laugh at that trash-ass content and the fake gamers that surround their fucking circle. Because that's all that is. It's a huge circle jerk of fake gamers like, oh yeah, we're going to get up off this console war trash. Xbox versus PS5. Which game runs better on what platform so we can go on Twitter and we can say, oh yeah, this console's trash. It's a bunch of technical jargon that you don't need to know about. Real gamers don't care. You look at the Nintendo fan base, and I'm not a Nintendo fan. I think the only good Nintendo game might be coming out later this year. Super Mario RPG Remake. Better than Zelda. That's Zelda it's shit. Over. If you're playing Zelda at 3540, you might be a loser. Okay? It's a fucking baby game. It is literally Michael a baby Myers game, bro. What do you think? I don't play that anymore. It's a fucking baby game. I'm not playing Zelda. I'm 30 something years old. I'm not a baby. I'm not a loser. Now I'm so used to 100 plus. Well, I thought the human eye. Why don't we call James Cameron? I thought the human eye can't see a plus 100. Okay, so what does the human eye see? What am I seeing right now? 120 frames? I'm not seeing that. Guys, if you care about frame rate and resolution, you are a fake gamer. I'm sorry. You are a fake gamer. If you care about frame rate and resolution, you are a fake gamer. The Because listen here. The best pe Listen here. I need you to listen. I got to make a noise out here. You guys are like fucking babies. You know, I got, I got to distract you somehow because you, you, you can't follow suit. And now I forgot my train of thought. I have no idea what we're talking about because you guys can't listen. You guys can't listen. I was going to say something really big, and you guys threw me off, off, off balance because you just want to sit around and harp about fucking 30 frames. Literally no Here's what I'm going to say. I think we already said this, but maybe we didn't say this. I don't remember what we just said. What I can tell you is that the bat... Listen here. This is what I was going to... I remember now. This is what I was going to tell you. One in the chat, if you're listening, I need you in tune, okay? What would you do if I sung out a tune? Would you walk up and stand out on me? Lend me your ear and tell me I'm so cool And I'll tell you that you're the best Oh, I get high with a little help from my friends Ooh, I get high with a little help from my friends Ooh, gotta try to get help from my friends My friends, my friends So here's the thing This is why, th this is why 60 frames doesn't matter the whole narrative that 30, 300 people in here, let's hit that damn like button. This is getting ridiculous. Subscribe to this channel fucking right now. And if you are rich, please support this show. Because the support as of late, despite being a viral meme that has entertained millions of people, this little circle jerk over here, well, they can't be bothered to fucking support this show. Because they're too busy on their fucking yacht going, oh, yeah. <laughs> We're going to watch this free content leech off it. Yeah. Unbelievable. You know? I've made so many careers. I mean, I've, I've given people jobs. I'm like a fucking factory over here. You know what I mean? They just leech off world class and Jesus Christ, you know. They're rich. Unbelievable. But nonetheless, what I can tell you is that 60 frames doesn't matter. And the reason why 60 frames doesn't matter is because this is, this is it. The, all, of the, all of the greatest PS4 games... All of the greatest PS4 games, none of them were at 60. None of them. Bloodborne. Was that at 60? Not a damn chance. Not even at 30. That's one of the best games of all time, right? You're not going to disagree with that. Bloodborne on PS4 was not at 60. Huh. Last of Us on PS3, not at 60. Last of Us Part 2 on PS4. Well, you guys hated that game. But just another example. $200 million game. Not at 60 frames on PS4. 
I don't even know about PS4 Pro. Ghost of Tsushima. When Ghost of Tsushima came out, and you guys shilled that to the moon and back in 2020. When Ghost of Tsushima came out, and you guys shilled that to the moon and back, guess what? Not at 60 frames. So now all of a sudden, just a couple of years later, the narrative is totally different and that every game needs to be at 60 frames because why? Oh, the new boxes came out and they promised that it was going to be the most powerful shit in the world? Well, guess what? Computer science is not up to par. The new graphics cards have to use frame manip image manipulation to it's run over. these modern day games. Computer science has not caught up. Now, maybe in the next 15 years, we'll do true 4K gaming. But right now, it's not entirely possible. It truly isn't. Here's some help from your friend. That's what we're talking about. And let's shout out the people that actually give a damn about the show. And that can come through and go above and beyond expectation. The real Michael Myers was so far the two-time Tony Hawk combo. We appreciate that very much so. And you know what? Tayland coming through, back from the dead. Tayland coming through really hard and really strong with a $20 super chat. Find the door coming through with the five and the divide kicking things off with the $5 super chat. 365 with the last bucket right there to make things pop and make things work in a way that makes sense. So now let's let's argue because that's what you want to do ultimately on a on a, on a holiday. You want to sit out here and argue about frame rate and resolution because you know you guys subscribe to Digital Foundry and you're under this idea that frames matter. Frames matter. Frames don't matter. Okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Game of the year just came out. According to the, to the general consensus, game of the year just came out. Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Zelda Tears of the Kingdom doesn't even run at 30 frames in certain spots. Now, how could that be game of the year when Zelda Tears of the Kingdom doesn't even run at 30 frames? But now all of a sudden, this is a pro... Oh, now we're going to excuse the Nintendo Switch and we're going to say the Nintendo Switch is outdated hardware. It's well, no over. shit. But the Nintendo fan base doesn't give a shit about hardware. They do not... I'm done with this conversation. It is a low IQ conversation. And if you can't... And 99 cents. I like supporting your show, Michael. Love the show. Keep up the streams. I stabbed the life out if the like button. That's Frame what we're talking about. only matter competitively on shooting games, dot, but it does make games look a lot smoother. Just a bonus. Well, it depends on what game. You know, when I play The Last of Us, I don't want The Last of Us running at 60 because it looks like a fucking soap opera. It is a... Si Do they film movies at 60? Do they film movies at 60 frames? No, they do not. They film it at 23.976. They do not film movies at 60 frames per second because it is not symptomatic. Okay? The real Michael Myers is coming through. We have the shape in the building. The shape is coming all the way from Haddonfield to support the show in a way that makes sense. He's stabbing through. He's slashing his way through. That's what we're talking about. Hell yeah, brother. We appreciate that. The real Michael Myers is in the building, baby. Zelda is trash. It's not my cup of tea. I played it. And we were able to play that thanks to a fan. They sent the damn switch over. Bald lesbian. I'm not even sure if he's still watching the show. Might have jumped off the fucking boat by now. But what I can tell you is that bald lesbian came through. And we appreciate that kind of generosity. He, let, he said, hey, I got a spare switch. Sent over the spare switch. We bought Zelda. We played Zelda. And it's, a ga it's apparently game of the year according to the general consensus. Not my cup of tea. It's a baby game to me. And I'm glad you guys like it. If you like it, great. We can still be friends. But to me, it's not something that I, I, I haven't played since we streamed it. Because there's just, I don't know what there is to see in the game that is going to really win me over. It's just not my cup of tea. I'm not saying it's bad. I understand why people like it. And they did add a lot of cool things to it. I had fun with it. I had fun with Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. You could create your own path. And then when it got down, let's not talk about Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, because I'm done. I've already talked about it. But what you need to understand is that that game doesn't run at 60. That's the whole point of this conversation. 60 frames does not matter. Oh, but it matters, Michael, within the context of Series X. You know, they sold us this idea that Series X was a true 4K powerhouse, and it's not running at 60. That's just totally inexcusable. You don't understand how this stuff works. You don't understand how this stuff works. That's why you're disappointed. That's why you're disappointed. You expect Series X to run at 4K60 for $500? You can't build a PC gaming rig that can run even 1080 at 60 for $500.
So what earth, what, what, what are you smoking? Because obviously it's very strong. You can't build a gaming PC right now for $500, which is the same price as Series X, and get the same specs. You can't. And anyone in here telling you otherwise is a stupid idiot because that's just not true. You got to spend $1,500, 2K, $2,500, 3K plus to get the specs of Series X in a way that makes sense to solidify your PC rig going forward. Ask these losers in here that have 4090s and don't do anything with them. Like, oh, I got a 4090. I'm going to flex. Yeah, you're going to flex that you're a fucking virgin and that you've never seen in your life before a vagina. That's what you're going to flex. Because if you're not making production with the 4090, if you're not doing 3D rendering, if you're not doing creative tasks, if you're not using the productivity of the GPU and the CUDA cores and the Tensor cores, if you're not utilizing your 4090, you're or a virgin. So don't flex that 4090 bullshit it's here because it's a bunch of baloney. Stain super chatted 5 euros. RDR2 on PS4 had NPCs walking in the distance at 10 FPS and bad frame rate dips in towns but still praised as the best game ever. 30 FPS don't matter. Exactly. So the last 15 or so, the last 45 years of video games never matter because now all of a sudden 60 frames is, oh, but Michael, it's time to get good and understand that the computer science has evolved to a point where 60 frames actually fucking matters. No, it doesn't. 60 frames doesn't matter. What planet are you? You gotta stop subscribing to Digital Foundry and their bullshit takes. It's over. 60 frames doesn't matter. Only for competitive gaming. Five day soft super shattered five dollars. Ray Ban makes sunglasses that make sixty frames. Yeah, just go buy Ray Ban. I don't. Imagine buying sunglasses. I'll stare at the fucking sun right now. Imagine going to the restaurant and paying thirty five dollars for spaghetti when I can make that for less than ten right out here, using the power of the sun. I mean, I mean you guys gotta wake up. And they pull the submarine right out of the Pacific Ocean as if it didn't implode. I mean, you gotta be fucking shitting me, bro. Have you seen the images of them pulling up the fucking Ocean Gate sub? I thought the damn thing imploded, yet they're pulling up the whole fucking sub like it never imploded. What's the narrative? You know, I mean, you start to wonder. You start to really wonder. They pulled up big-ass pieces of the Titanic sub, and I thought the damn thing imploded, and they turned into, you know, fit liquid uh, food for the fish. Well, how can, there be, how can there be remnants of the fucking sub if it imploded under the pressure of 3,000 pounds per second? That's what James Cameron kind of said, right? Something to that extent that the pressure was so... In they didn't even know it was coming. And now they're pulling up the Titanic sub? They're pulling up the Titanic sub? It's well, over. you tell me how that survived. Under all of that pressure? Huh. Bald lesbian super shattered $4.99. I've never felt a woman's touch. Baby, 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 baby. Well, I have. Baby, 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 baby. She baby, came up and baby, she said she loved baby, and I said, sweetheart, baby, I don't know if I'm straight. Baby, baby, baby. You know, baby, it's really that baby, simple. Baby, 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 baby. Baby, why don't why baby, don't you explain baby, bald baby, lesbian to these baby, idiots in here, baby, these digital foundry shills? Baby, why don't you explain it to them? Let me baby, ask you this, bald. Baby, get off that baby, shit. Baby, I'm done with that crap. Simple is going to be scoring. He's coming. 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 My mother and her husband Jerry says hi. Baby, 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 baby. You guys are not listening. Baby, you guys are not listening. You're out here on the 4th of July acting, acting as if 60 frames matters. It doesn't matter unless it's a competitive experience. I asked Bald Lesbian and I said, sweetheart, look, this is the reality of the situation. Bald Lesbian, tell these people in the chat right now, 60 frames doesn't matter. We know. It doesn't matter what I feel about Zelda. We know that this is going to be game of the year. Zelda tier... Absolutely! Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is going to be game of the year. Zelda, te Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is going to be game of the year. Let's not act stupid out here. Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is going to be game of the year. Now, why, does that, why, why is that going to be game of the year material? 
when it's not at 60, right? You know, because you guys sat out here with the idea that 60 frames is the only thing that matters anymore. You said Redfall was trash. I played Redfall at 60. And let me tell you what. It's a Game Pass game. But did I need 60 to see the trash that was on the screen? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. So don't sit there and tell me that 60 frames matters. Because it doesn't. And Bald Lesbian will tell you that. Because there's no game on the it's Switch over. that runs at 60. And you're talking about Game of the Year. Game of the Year, Zelda. Tylon Super we're not listening. $20. We're, we're not listening. They should have known something was wrong when the driver busted out the Super Mario Sunshine controller. The sub caved into the pressure like Todd Howard did with AMD. What? It's over. Tayland coming through really hard and really strong. That's what we're talking about. Hell yeah, by the way, appreciate that. Tayland coming through really hard and really strong in addition to the real Michael Myers. They are coming through in the face of adversity and doing so in a way that makes sense. It's the 4th of July. I don't even know what the fucking day represents. The birth of America? What does that mean? That's when they made the Constitution? They got out that feather pen and Benjamin Franklin's like, Thou shall not. What does that even mean? Because in my opinion, it's a day where you open up that grill and you cook the burgers on the grill and you shoot fireworks. Now, why are we doing these things? I don't fucking know. We're just doing it. But what does today really mean? The day that... What's his face? Who found America? George Columbus. The day that George Columbus found America. Oh, wait, that's Columbus Day. So what the hell is this day? The founding fathers got together? Weren't they slave owners? And they wrote the Constitution? Is that what it's this is? It's over. I was, I was in instructional history class. They played movies all day. Super there was no pounds. homework. Bit of a wheelchair, isn't it? Wheelchair That's a bit of a drag, symbol, isn't it? Wheelchair symbol, wheelchair symbol, wheelchair symbol, wheelchair Guys, symbol, wheelchair symbol. Guys, I can show you my report symbol, card from symbol, high school. Wheelchair symbol, because there's a narrative going around symbol, that world class isn't disabled. Symbol, then why was I in special ed? Clearly, I had a learning symbol, disability. Wheelchair symbol, and I've had to learn how to, you know, utilize the learning disability to the fullest extent. Wheelchair you think symbol, I know how to do math? Symbol, I can barely count symbol, money. Wheelchair symbol, wheelchair symbol, wheelchair symbol. That's why I can't get a cash symbol, register job. Symbol, the line would be so fucking symbol, long, we would have to make change. Symbol, if the computer symbol, doesn't tell me how to do math, symbol, I don't know how to fucking do math. Symbol, wheelchair symbol. You guys are not symbol, listening. If that's symbol, not a learning disability, then what is? Wheelchair symbol, wheelchair symbol. Wheelchair symbol. Now, I'm the smartest tool in the symbol, shed. Well, then shower symbol, me with love. Get your wallet symbol, out right now and subscribe symbol, to the fucking show for only $5 symbol, a month symbol, because for some people, that's a little too much for them to manage. Symbol, Yet they'll go out to Starbucks every day and spend $7 symbol, on that birthday. Symbol, wheelchair symbol, wheelchair it's a bunch symbol, of poppycock is what it is. Symbol, wheelchair symbol. Wheelchair symbol, I'm out here in 90 degree symbol, weather. We're out symbol, here right now, symbol, and you guys are still not listening. Symbol, I told you guys symbol, that the cracks were starting symbol, to show with Starfield. Yeah, wheelchair, wheelchair symbol, symbol, by the way. Wheelchair symbol, 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 by the way. Wheelchair symbol. Wheelchair symbol, symbol, symbol by the way. Who said wheelchair that slop in? Wheelchair symbol. Who said that slop in? Who said that slop in? Wheelchair symbol. Wheelchair symbol. Wheelchair symbol. Who said that slop in? Wheelchair Who said that symbol, slop it? wheelchair symbol, wheelchair symbol, wheelchair symbol, wheelchair symbol, wheelchair symbol. Why don't you get your mother on the line? You know, I know she's not busy. You're not giving her attention. You know, let her have a world class moment where she talks to world class but I'm literally a celebrity. Wheelchair symbol. I'm literally a celebrity. Wheelchair symbol. Do you understand that we're a viral meme? Wheelchair symbol. Wheelchair symbol. Mil wheelchair literally, symbol, these are just facts. Symbol, I'm not tooting my own horn. Symbol, literally, symbol, millions symbol, of views. At least symbol, five million symbol, views. We are symbol, literally a viral symbol, meme. Where is my support? Symbol, symbol, I don't give a shit if you're bored of my show. And if you are, maybe get your mother on the line. Wheelchair because you're not giving her this attention on the 4th of July that she so desperately needs. Wheelchair symbol. 
Wheelchair okay, symbol. I'm banning this loser. Who set this slop in? Wheelchair You're disrupting symbol. the show. Wheelchair You're disrupting symbol. the show. Wheelchair Who set this trap? God of frogs. What a loser. What a loser, God of Frogs. Wheelchair symbol, by the way. Why don't you take the wheelchair symbol and shove it up your ass, buddy? Five dollars. Yeah, you'll go to Starbucks and spend ten on that sugar and shit drink that's going to cut years off your fucking life. But you want to go to Starbucks because you think the fucking, you know, that's the cool place to hang out, but you don't want to socialize. You know, you're just so scared to socialize. You know, that's the problem with these people today. They're so afraid to socialize, you know. They're so shut in. They're basement dwellers. They think 60 frames matters. They think 60 frames is really what's going to take this industry forward? No, it's not. And you guys are chat GPT lovers too. Like, oh, chat GPT is awesome. I can, you know, I can communicate with chat GPT is going to revolutionize everything, man. Like, get up off that hippie fucking bullshit, bro. Chat GPT is going to revolutionize anything, everything. Guys, we've had this technology for literally decades. Just because it's coming out to the mainstream now doesn't mean a damn thing. We've had this technology for decades, bro. And you guys are surprised, like, oh, the neural net. Yeah, that's been around for fucking so long. That's what it's called. It's the neural net. You idiot. Chat GPT, yeah, man, I downloaded that Chat GPT mod. <laughs> I downloaded that Chat GPT mod, bro, and this shit's like killer, man. Oh, this thing like talks to me, man. <laughs> oh man, this is crazy, man. Hey, I wonder what I can ask you, man. Like, who? How much is this? <laughs> Whoa, man, he's got a list of prices, dude. Whoa, this is so killer, man. <laughs> Let me call up Donnie, man. You know what I mean? I mean, it's just a bunch of fucking, like, yikes. You know, you guys are excited about that. Like, get out of here. Wow, the computer is talking to you. The neural net is talking to you. Get a job. I mean, you guys are excited about that. It's, like, really time to wake up and smell the coffee. Holy fuck. You guys are excited about robots talking to you? Oh, jeez. You guys are excited about robots talking to you, and then that's the future of gaming with RPGs? No, it's not. It's soulless trash. Dude, I was uh, the last time I used ChatGPT, it wanted to argue with me. And it said my take was just a perspective, and it said my take was just an opinion, and that my take wasn't the correct take. And I said, I'm shutting this shit down. Okay, I don't want to hear that. I know that, but I don't want to hear that, okay? I don't want to hear about how my take doesn't fucking matter to apparently a stupid robot. Kiss my foot. So I shut that shit down, and I've never used it again. And plus, it's not efficient. It's not efficient. Chat GPT takes 15 minutes to load one little fucking response, and you guys are like, oh, chat GPT. Why don't you talk to your mother? Don't talk to the robot. Talk to your mother. What are you doing? You know, I mean, you guys have these hot wives, you don't even talk to them, you talk to me instead, it's like, maybe we should find a different thing to do, because you guys are sitting out here, and you're not giving her the time of day, she's not going to be putting out much longer, she's going to take that ring and throw it in the river, you need to give her the time of day, you need to open up the car vehicle door. For her to get in first. Be the gentleman that she fantasizes about. You guys need to stop watching this show and start supporting her because you ain't going to support me. So why even waste your fucking time over here? So go support her. Take her out to the sushi restaurant. I mean, it's not that hard. She will look her. You know what I mean? If you're not going to support my show, support her. It's that simple. She needs to be loved. That's the fantasy that she's always dreamt of. That's why she got and said yes when you got on your knees and you put the ring on the finger, you know? Duh! So, you know, continue having that fantasy fulfilled. It is 16 times the detail over here, and you're not listening. It is literally 16 times the detail over here, and you're not listening. Only 10% of the planets have life on them. Now ask, ask yourself, what is there to do on the planets? Why don't we have an intelligent take in here? And ask yourself, 
what is there to do on these planets? Only 10% of life on these planets. Okay, so you ask yourself, what is there to do on these planets? Collect resources? You want to sit around and, 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 and collect resources? Now, there was this interesting note. In the Starfield Showcase, where they said the game is going to formulate around you. That's literally what was said to some extent. It wasn't those exact words. But they essentially said that the game is going to think around the player, and it's going to render a certain radius for the player and curate that experience depending on the choices that the player has made. This is what I remember hearing. Now, maybe it's not to that full extent, but that's what I've heard about Starfield. And that sounds exciting. Because that maybe means that this isn't going to be the same experience for everyone. At least not initially until the modders who have literally no life and are going to be single for the rest of their life. They're going to go into the game files because they have the right. They think they have the right to go into the game files. That's not your property. You don't have the right to go into the game files. Todd Howard didn't say that you could go into the game files and modify that. You know, the next time I interview a game dev, I'm going to ask the game dev that question. Can we go in day one and modify the game to our liking? Because we bought the game, right? You know, that's, that's, their, that's their whole narrative. We bought the game. We own it. It's ours, which that's not even true. You own the license to play the game. Okay? And this is from a special ed person. I'm just telling you the facts. You don't own anything. We are living in a digital society. We don't own the games that we think we own. Because guess what? Even the physical copies have an expiration date. There's a thing called the CMOS battery in these consoles. And once that expires, well, the physical copies don't run. So you don't own a damn thing. Okay. We're not listening. We're not listening. We're going to open up the lines. We're gonna, I need you to hit that like button, guys. The like gang in here is slacking. I am done. The like gang in here is slacking, bro. We're going to do a contest. I'm announcing it officially right here and right now. First fan. I don't want some random weirdo viewer. Okay? I'm talking real fan. First fan to come out within the next 30 days, and I'll tell you where it's at. Okay, right here to this spot on this bench. It's oh, over. now we're going to have people interrupting the show. Unbelievable. Alistair X super chatted $4.99. I heard they left 10% to save a lot of room for a lot of future DLC content and updates to the existing planets later after launch to get game. Well, out. I don't want a live service game. I'm done with the live service games. I'm done with the live service games. Cyberpunk is still getting updates three years later, and now they're hyping up Cyberpunk 2.0 to be a totally different game, and that the devs over at CD Projekt Red wish that that was the version that released back in 2020. They are hyping up Cyberpunk 2077 again with the Phantom Liberty DLC, which comes out the same month as this game right here, Starfield. They both come out in September, bro. Both of these games come out in September. So we're talking potentially two big disasters in one month. Now, we're hoping that they're not disasters. But the hype for both of these games, for both of these experiences, is unbelievable. We're talking two potential disasters in the month of September. And guess which version is cheaper? Guess which, which potential disaster is cheaper? Starfield. Because even at 15 bucks a month, that is cheaper than Cyberpunk Phantom Liberty DLC, which is, again, being hyped up as Cyberpunk 2.0. And you guys are hyping it up yet again. You didn't listen the first time around. And, oh, CD Projekt read this. CD Projekt read that. They've learned. They've working with modders. No. It's going to be garbage. They're just now adding Chase AI are you serious? I'm done. We were not sold a live service game, and that's what the game turned into. A live service game, and you have Alana Pierce, and you have Young Ya, and you have Shill Up, and you have all these other stupid idiots shilling this garbage yet again. It's happening yet again. And they're doing it with Starfield too. 
they're showcasing the Starfield headset and the Starfield controller. Why would I buy a Starfield controller or, matter of fact, a Starfield headset when I don't know if this game is going to be good or not? We are how many days? 64 days away from launch. There's no raw gameplay. There's no RPG gameplay footage out. There's snippets of gameplay with Todd Howard telling you that you're going to love it and that it's exclusive to AMD. That's basically what we have. And we have word from Todd Howard that, hey, there's no Land Rover, so if you want to roam around the fucking planet, well, you're going to have to get back in your ship, go to another destination point, watch that cutscene over and over and over again. It sounds like a total fucking disaster in terms of exploration. So what really is this game? Is this game basically just DLC the planet? Why even have this place, the space exploration in this if they're not going to do it in a way that makes sense. No Man's Sky is a fucking team of 50 people, or at least it was when it came out. you got to be fucking bullshitting me. It's an independent game. No Man's Sky is an independent game. And you're telling me that they can do space exploration bigger and better than Starfield? Unbelievable. I mean, it truly is unbelievable. It truly is unbelievable. Well, we need new members. That's what we need. We need new members. I'm just going to shout this out. For only $5 a month, you could be part of the Winner's Club over here. We're going to roll the red carpet. And listen, this is what I was going to say beforehand. Because we've lost some members. We've lost some longtime fans. These people supported the show for over a year and a half, two years. And all of a sudden, they say, we're done. And I say, sweetheart, there's something wrong there. I want to talk this out with this person. I would love to. But they don't want to talk to me anymore. They say, Michael, you're the devil. You know, they start believing these lies and these narratives. And that's just not fair. It's a two-way street. Let's talk this out. We don't always have to agree. It doesn't mean I, I don't hate anyone. Why would I hate anyone? I don't know these people. I mean, I kind of know them, but I don't really know them. Why would I hate on something I don't know or understand? That doesn't make sense. So the door is always open. Just know that. But if no one reaches out, I can't be bothered to contact them back. So I'm just wondering, where are these longtime fans at? But for the fans that have remained, we're, rolling, we're doing a red carpet event. That's what we're doing. It's a red carpet contest. This is what we're doing. I'm not joking. I'm tired of hearing about it. So we're going to make it happen. I'm tired of hearing about it. So we're going to make it happen. The first fan in the next 30 days... The first fan got a Frogs member for seven months. Hell yeah, brother. We appreciate that. The first fan in the next 30 days to come out here to this spot and join us live on the air. We're rolling out the red carpet. Here's what I'm going to do. Should we just say what the prizes are? The first fan in the next 30 days to come out to this spot right here and join us live. The first one to get out here in the next 30 days to join us live. I'm going to tell you where it's at, but I'm not going to help you get here because that's part of it. The first fan in the next 30 days to get here and join us live, we have some prizes for you. We're rolling out the red carpet for you. I'm going to buy your hotel, okay? So you're going to have a place to stay for one night. That's all I can do. Okay, we're not fucking a big channel over here. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. There's two other... <laughs> it's just too good to be true almost, right? But I'm telling you, if these fans come out, first fan to come out within the next 30 days, you're going to get a place to stay in a hotel. Okay? In addition to that, a brand new PS5. I'm not playing around. Now, granted, you guys probably already have the PS5. If so, keep it. Hold on to it. Or pass it along to someone else that needs it. Look... This is what we're doing. And there's another prize that I'm not going to tell you what it is. So that's what we're doing. First fan to get his or her ass out here within the next 30 days to join us live on the air. That's, that's what's going to happen. We're rolling the red carpet out for the fans. Okay? For the first fan to get here in the next 30 days. I'm tired of having these fake meetups. I'm tired of trying to schedule people. This is what I'm offering to you. The first fan to get out here within the next 30 days, you're getting a hotel room so you can spend the night. Okay? Not with me. 
Okay. That's why I'm putting you in a hotel. Because I don't know who the fuck you are. So we're putting your ass in a hotel. We're going to spend, we're going to pay for it. Okay. So we're rolling out the red carpet for you. We're going to pay for one night in the hotel. Second thing, brand new PS5. Sealed. Brand new PS5. Sealed. And there's one more thing in addition to that. So, that's what we're doing. The next 30 days, first fan to come on out. Now, obviously, in order to find out where this is at, you're going to have to contact me. Okay, that's just what's going to have to happen. So, if you are showing interest in this chat right now, and you can hop in the car and you have free time on your hands, well, then get your ass out here. That's what we're saying. Because I'm only if you're a fan. Don't come out here and pretend to be a fan. Okay? We don't want fake fans coming out here. We don't want fake fans coming out here. Okay. But if you are a fan, within the next 30 days, you get your ass out here to this fucking bench. And that's what we got lined up for you. If that's not good enough, then don't make the trip out here. But the value there is pretty fucking high. Probably more than you're going to spend in terms of a plane ticket or a fucking gas. I'm not kidding. PS5, 500 bucks right there. Second prize. That's 70 bucks right there. You're talking 570 right there. Third price? Well, I'm not going to say what that is. But that's what we're doing. It's the red carpet contest. First true fan to get out here within the next 30 days. That's what you're taking home. I'm not bullshitting. I ain't playing possum. Okay? We are giving back to the fans. That's what we're doing. First true fan to get out here within the next 30 days. We're rolling the red carpet out for you. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. And if no one comes out in 30 days, then no one comes out, then it's over. So you got 30 days until August 4th, right? That's 30 days. I mean, I can't do math. I'm just assuming that's 30 days from now. August 4th. First true fan to get out here. That's what we're doing. Well, if you want it bad enough, you're going to have to get out here. I'm not flying to you. I've already said, this is the reality of the situation. If you want to know what we're streaming, we'll let you know, okay? That's just what's going to have to happen. I don't want to know when you're coming. I'm just going to say, hey, this is where we're going to meet. First true fan to make it out there first within the next 30 days gets the brand new PS5. They get a hotel room so you can sleep, you know, because you traveled all the way from wherever the fuck you're from. And in addition to that, there's a third price. So we're talking the value here is literally greater than what it's going to cost you to get out here unless you live, you know, 5,000 miles away, which at that point I, I wouldn't recommend doing it. But no, nonetheless, that's the way the cookie crumbles because I'm tired of hearing about it. I'm tired of hearing about these fake fans like, oh, Michael, I want to come see you. I want to come see you. I have offered to pay for gas. That's not enough. I have offered to roll the red carpet out multitude of times, and it's just never enough. So now we're creating this event right here. It's called the True Fan Red Carpet Meetup, and the first motherfucker to get out here gets a brand new sealed PS5. And this isn't just a PS5. This is an older PS5 that might actually be worth a little bit more. This is a launch PS5 that is still sealed. This is a launch PS5 that is still sealed from early 2021, late 2020. So this is, a, this is an older model of the PS5, brand new, still sealed. And in addition to that, we'll give you some cash for the hotel. And on top of that, we have a third prize that I'm not going to say. It's over. So if you are interested, if you are interested... Alice Be sure to let me know here. Chatted four dollars and ninety nine cents. Let's go, people. Who is the real fan and will show yeah. up? World I don't want to hear about how you can't make it out. If you can't make it out, that's okay. We're not trying to put pressure on people. It's only for those that can make it happen and within the next thirty days. So it, it is a competition. You got to be the first true fan to come on out. And look, if if two people show up on the same day, well, that'll be a fucking that ain't never gonna happen. But if it does, we'll make sure that you're both um taken care of in a way that makes sense. Alistair X coming through in a way that makes sense too. Hell yeah, by the way, appreciate that. Alistair X coming through the red fan meetup carpet. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. So you want a brand new PS5 sealed straight from uh, late 2020, early 2021. Might even be hackable because the firmware on that thing is still fucking 
1.0. You know what I mean? So it might actually be worth a little bit more than 500 because you can't buy that that version of the PS5 anymore. I mean, if you want the God of War edition, I can go out and buy that for you. But, uh, you know, I think this is a little bit more of a rare item here. This is a launch PS5. It's a launch PS5. So here's what we're going to do. Since I'm putting this out there right now, you need to email me and let me know that you are gen- – don't waste my time and don't tell me how you can't make it, okay? Please. I don't want to know if you can't make it. We're only talking to the people that can find the free time to make it. Maybe they can call- – I mean, I'm telling you, the value here is probably more than um, it's going to take you to get out here. Because even if you drive from California – let's just say you're in California. You drive all the way to Illinois. From California to Illinois. I mean, how much is that really going to cost you? I don't know. (laughs) But what I'm telling you is that the value here is pretty crazy. So with that said, in my opinion, maybe I'm wrong. Nonetheless, I think it's a sweet deal. And we're giving back to the true fan that comes on out within the next 30 days, the first fan. So if you are genuinely interested, and you got to come out and be on the show, obviously. You can't be camera shy. We're not doing camera shy stuff, okay? We're... This is for the show, and we want to we want to recognize your loyalty to the show. So we're giving back. You know, you're coming all the way out from who the fuck knows where, South Dakota, North Dakota, Wyoming, Florida, New York City. But we don't want weirdos, okay? We don't want weirdos, okay? However, the door is open. So if you are a true fan and you want to come on out, this is what we're offering. First true fan of the next 30 days, brand new sealed PS5 that has the oldest firmware on it. No updates installed on that son bitch. Probably worth a little bit more, to be honest, because it might be hackable. I don't fucking know if the PS5 scene is hackable yet. I'm going to throw you some cash for a hotel if that's what you're interested in so that you don't, you know, play homeless out here. Although, you know, that might be for fun content, too. And in addition to that, we also have a third prize, which I ain't going to say what the fuck is. All right, so if you are interested, here's what we're going to do. Email me right here. This is what I need you guys to do. If you are genuinely interested, if you are genuinely interested, do not waste my time, please, or do not email me telling me that you can't make it. That's not what I want to hear, okay? Email me, and I will tell you the meetup spot. Yeah, the first true fan comes comes out in the next... 30 days, uh, we'll, uh, well, we'll roll the red carpet out for. So here we go. You send me an email, and you let me know that you're interested. I'll tell you where it's at, and then, you know, we'll be expecting you within the next 30 days or so. But again, first one to, to make it happen. First one to make it happen. I mean, someone might fly out tomorrow. Someone might fly out tomorrow. This guy said he's coming out of the basement right now. This guy said he's coming out of the basement right now. So here's what you need to do. Email me right here and, 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 you know. Is that right? There we go. Email me right there. And with that said, we'll share the meetup spot. First fan to come on out. I mean, someone could be flying out right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, they want that old school PS5. You can't buy that PS5 anymore, folks. Sealed. It's got firmware 1.0 on that son bitch. Never been connected to the internet. There might be something there. There might not be. Nonetheless, we're going to get you a hotel. We're going to give you some cash for the hotel. And in addition to that, there's a third prize. Okay. Now, if you don't want the third prize, that's fine. But with that said... That's what we got for you. If it doesn't sound like it floats your boat, that's fine. I'm not asking for people to come out here if they don't want to come out here. But that's what I'm offering you guys. Because I, I've heard it time and time again. You know, these people want to fly all from across the U.S. And, you know, from Liverpool. It's Luis like, just come. Fernandez just come. Super just come. $10. That's what we're looking for. Come. Happy 4th, Michael, and all the Patriots on here. That's what we're talking about. Luis Hernandez coming through really hard and really strong. Luis Hernandez just came with a $10 super chat. That's what we're talking about. Hell yeah, by the way, appreciate that. Luis Hernandez coming through really hard and really strong. So, with that said, we wanted to make that official. Shoot me an email, and we'll let you know the meetup spot and the rest. I don't want to know when you're coming because that ruins the fun of it, okay? 
And again, you got to be the first fan to show up. You got to be the first fan to show up. So, you know, <clears throat> you know, someone could book a flight tomorrow. I mean, some, you know, it just really depends. If you're a crazy fan, you know, you might say, "Hey, I'm a number one fan." It might turn into this misery situation where, "Hi, my name's Annie, Annie Wilkes, and I'm your number one fan, Paul Sheldon." <laughs> Well, we don't want that, but, you know, nonetheless, it is what it is. So that's what we're going to say, and that is what we're doing here within the next 30 days. So with that said, let's get back to Starfield folks at home. Todd Howard says only 10% of Starfield planets have life on them, and with that said, we're going to open up the lines. That's what we meant to do here. 818-824-4937. Hopefully the audio is going to make it happen and make it work in a way that makes sense. 818-824-4937. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and open up the lines in a way that makes sense. 818-824-4937, folks at home. 818-824-4937. We are 64 days away until Starfield. No raw gameplay. No raw gameplay. And the audio is going to be very broken here. I can very much so tell you that. Guys, these are random numbers. I don't have caller ideas. Hello, hello, you're on the air. What's your name? Can you hear me? Hello, you're on the air. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Yeah, can, you, can, can you hear yeah, me? Can hear you. But, but is it coming from the microphone? Hello? Um, yeah. Yes. Do, yeah is, it coming, is it coming from the microphone? Yeah, I mean, oh, I think so because I can hear you well. Well, it's got to be coming from some microphone. You know what I mean? Okay. Well, hello, hey, you're on the air. 818-824-4937. What do you think about Starfield? Well, um, I mean, I think it looks pretty good. I mean, 10%. Uh, that, I don't know what to think about that whole stat, really. I mean, it actually probably is more uh, more life than the rest of the universe, if you think about it. On average, you know, most planets probably don't have life. So I'll take it. I'll take 10%. I think it's fine. Okay. And what do you think about the fact that we're 64 days away from launch and there is no real raw game play out? There's no mission kind of game play out. Do you think that will change here soon? Um, I mean, do you think? Yeah, let me ask you yeah. this. Do, let me ask you this. Do you think yeah, it's do you think it's concerning? Because right now, all we kind of have is snippets of gameplay, and yeah, we still have a couple of months, and there's still time. But with that said, that's all we have right now. And with this news of the Land Rover not being in the game, only ten percent of life, and with the uh, you know PC thing where they partnered up with AMD, well, that's not good news, I guess, to Nvidia users. Yeah, I, I I agree with I definitely agree with you there. Um, I also wanted to talk about. Um, I, I wanted to apologize for my behavior the other day when I who is this? Up and I <laughs> I got a little emotional. Who? Well, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry about that. What does that mean? Like three or four days ago. I well, I don't. I don't. I don't probably remember anyway. Guys, do you think I remember all of the calls that called in? We get like forty calls a show. I was trying to I was trying to understand why that you don't seem to enjoy gaming that much anymore and why you would just get on and rant and rave and I was just hoping that I could clear clear the air a little bit because Oh because I, I got, I Well you're got not you're not the guy it. from Wisconsin, are you? What was that? You're not the guy from Wisconsin, are you? Oh no no no. Okay, well the guy the guy from Wisconsin was chewing me out pretty hard. You, you weren't you weren't chewing me out pretty hard. You were just asking a question and maybe I chewed you out and I apologize for that. But the guy from Wisconsin had his cheese hat on that day or he must have forgot it because holy fuck did he give me a lot of uh oh, fuck you Michael I'm up here in Wisconsin eating cheese curds and drinking fucking Milwaukee's best and you know what I mean? I mean it's just unbelievable. Yeah, no, I don't I don't really get angry. I just kind of get I just get a little bit sad sometimes when I'm trying to help somebody and they don't seem to really want help. What does that mean? Well, I was, you I was, uh, try, what? I was trying to help you. I was trying to help you figure out and you know enjoy video games again. You, you didn't. You didn't want to talk to me about it. Oh, you're a fucking troll! You loser! <laughs> 
You son of a bitch. Hello, you're on the air. 818-824. Guys, are we having an audio problem? Start banning these losers that are lying about the audio. Get them out of here. 818-824-4937. This is literally Kurt Cobain's microphone from the In Utero Tour. Without his actual microphone, but it's the same fucking model. And no one on this platform has used this microphone. So if it's trash, this is what Kurt Cobain used. In the In Utero Tour from 1993 to 1994. Not this specific mic. But the same model. So this is what the quality sounds like as he was singing Rape Me into the song, into the uh, microphone. Hello, you're on the air. What's your name? Where are you calling from? 818-824-4937. Hello, 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 you're on the air. Happy 4th of July. It's Independence Day. Yes, sir. That's really good. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Are you there? Who is this? Hello. Hello. Yeah, he hello, you're on the air. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Let's go. My name is Christian. I'm from Florida. Florida, Florida. Oh, Jesus God. Florida? Yeah, man. What's down there in Florida? Man, it's hot. We're having a great time here. Like, I was uh, everywhere, man. I'm I can't sorry. hear what are you doing out there on that oh, boat man. in Florida, bro? Bro, it's in what are you doing? You should be at Disney World. Disney World, bro, that's... I'm not even near by that. Oh, man, oh. I'm in Clearwater with that. Disney well, when I when I think of Florida, I only think of one little spot in Florida. I mean, yeah, Florida's a big state. I mean. Yeah. Huh. It's a juice, bro, because so, uh, I don't think I'm able to even afford it. Well, do you, do, you know where Saint, do you know where St. Cloud, Florida is? St. Cloud? No, I don't. Oh, I'm you're a fake not. Florida I'm fan. Get him off the air. Get him off the air. <laughs> He doesn't know where St. Cloud, Florida is? Anyone in Florida knows where that's at. Hello, finally, you're on the air. It's by Tampa Bay. Finally, finally, finally. Joe Balls. Oh, are you hearing me? Joe Balls. Now, Michael, you asked a question, and nobody could answer it a couple of days ago, right? You asked a simple question, Michael. Are people going to buy Starfield day one or not? And nobody could answer it honestly. Well, I am saying no, 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 no. And do you want to know my reasons, Michael? Yeah. My reason, well, my number one reason is because it's got Bethesda attached to it. Now, all, the, <laughs> all these newbie gamers, Bethesda is a kind of like a byword for you are about to get ripped fucking off. Well, that's why it's on Game Pass Day 1. I told people, I said, look, $60, $70, please do not buy this game for that unless it's guaranteed to be a lot better than the previous releases. Yes, yes, you did. Uh, the second reason is that I'm not going to buy it day one. I'm open to changing my mind. But I'm not going to buy it day one for because it's Bethesda. Uh, and the other reason is, where is my fucking Evil Within 3? They promised me evil within three, five years ago. Where is it? I got fucking Ghostwire, and that was dreadful. Yeah, well, the evil within didn't do great, so I don't think that, you know. Yeah, well, fuck that. It's for real fans, not commercial fucking cheap success. Don't they care about us? But, the, I mean, the deciding factor in Starfield is... We don't know enough about it yet. We really don't, okay? What yeah. about the women? Are they gonna the have women! Big tits and lovely ass? The women in Starfield, what about the women? Are they going to have tits and ass? If they've got a dick and balls, that's okay, but keep it hidden. Where, what, what are the women going to be like? Hey, well, that's a great question. That is a great question, and it needs to be answered before I'm laying my money fucking down again. I've only bought one game this year, you know, Michael. And that, yes, 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 that is the 4 remake. And people know what I think about that. I didn't regret buying it, but it didn't blow me away. Yeah. But, yeah, but uh, Starfield, I, I see the um, promotional material for it. And sometimes it gets me excited because, I mean, I'm, I'm an old bastard. I, I've been there since day one. I've been with you guys since day one. By you guys, I mean you and Dylan, and I hope that doesn't annoy you because you and Dylan, you're my parents. You gave birth to Jill Balls. You really did. 
and I wish you'd get back together. I feel like... Oh, bro, like come on now. I know, man. I well, know. You gave birth to Jill Balls. Yeah. Or rather, your fans did. Because, um, you know... Oh, I, my in God. In 2019, I made one comment. We were doing that skit where I was trapped in the Resident Evil house. And then when Resident Evil dro 3 dropped... Everyone was saying it's really good, and I said, nobody has the Jill balls to tell the truth. And then everyone started calling me Jill Balls because of one comment. I've been calling in for a year. Hello? hello? So you're my parents. Yeah. Hello? Is it, is, yeah. is, is it working? No, 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 no. I think, I think there's a bad signal somewhere, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, there might very well be. It's, it's well, they're, 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 say, they're saying they can't hear you, so I don't know what's going on. It should be working, though. Well, 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 well Starfield are for uh, people who don't know uh, Bethesda's reputation. Yeah. Would you agree with that, Mike? Well, I mean, I, you know, I. It, it's going to be hard to say right now. But I mean, look, it's on it's on Game Pass Day One. It's on Game Pass Day One. So I, you know, I think at the end of the day, I think that is the saving grace here. If it is a total disaster, and we got two p potential big disasters coming in September, you got Starfield. But again, that's on Game Pass at the very least, and that is cheaper. A Game Pass subscription, unless they increase it from now and then, a Game Pass subscription is literally less expensive than the Cyberpunk Phantom Liberty DLC. Yeah, well, that shows you they don't believe in their own game because a game pass subscription means they want to get as much money as quickly as possible before it's forgotten. Yeah, well, every, everything's a subscription. I mean, I can't believe you have to subscribe to Adobe software to use it. I mean, that is crazy. That is dangerous, Michael, because it's full of Well, that's why I don't use Adobe. I don't use Adobe. I, 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 I use the software that's still, you know, one-time buy, and then you get the free updates. It's like, why would you pay for a fucking subscription? Imagine using Adobe. Unbelievable. Yeah, well, that's, that's kind of like, um, you know, people using rocks and stones when they got a printing press. No, no, no. This is marketing. It's dangerous shit. Yeah. And all the viewers watching Michael now, subscription is dangerous. You're thick. You're stupid. You're, you're not real gamers. Don't give your Oh my god! Malware on your fucking software on your computer. Why don't they get this, Michael? It's over! Yes. Yeah, I, I can barely hear you. Well, oh, uh, can you hear me now, honey? Yeah, a little bit better. Yeah, well, you heard that. Okay, I'll get off the air now. There's, there's something wrong with the connection. I can hear you just fine, Mike. Well, I know you can hear me, but um, I mean, I, you know, you're a little faint. I don't know if you have it on speaker or what. No, no, I'm I'm actually driving right now. Oh, okay. Hell yeah. <laughs> the very rare time when I'm driving. Um, we're going down to Lynn Harbor for Fourth of July, and then we're going to go to the Boston Harbor. Hell I, yeah, bro! Way, enjoy I, that. Enjoy that. Thank you. And I'm very drunk right now as well, so I probably not got my signal right. What? What? Hello, you're on the air. Hello, hello. Can, 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 can you hear me? Hello, you're on the air. Yes, I am. You can hear me, you can Shut up, you piece of work. What are you calling it on the 4th of July for? You got nothing better to do because the family doesn't want to see you so sad. Hello, you're on the air. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Guys, is the audio What's that up, terrible? Michael? Are they trolling about the audio in here? Where are my mods? Oh, I don't think that they're trolling about the audio. I think the audio's fine. Then why are there multiple people saying the audio's trash? Even members are saying the audio's trash. Maybe they should just turn up the audio because I'm looking at the uh, at the meters right now, and it's it's almost in the yellow. So I don't know what they're smoking. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, it's fine on my end. The colors are a little bit lower than usual, but I mean, you can hear them. Oh, so so it is bad. I got I got to end it. I got to end it. I got to end it. I got I got to play it back myself. I can't. I can't. I I don't know what to, I don't know who to believe.
Oh, the call is the caller audio that trash? It's fine on my end. The colors are a little bit lower than usual, but I mean, you can hear them. Oh, so so it. Is. The audio is fine, bro. I'm gonna ban. Who wants to be a mod in here? That's never been a mod before. We're looking at the member crew. I'm I'm done with that baloney. They said the audio was trash. Who said that? I'm gonna call him out right now. Who's this loser that said the audio was trash? He was a member too. I'm calling him out right now. I just played the audio back crystal clear. Chris God of Frogs. Is this the guy that said that? Someone said the audio was low. No, Nightwing said the audio was low. Turn up the call volume? Bro, I can't turn up their volume. If they have low audio, I can't turn up their volume because it's already at max. And I just played it back, and the audio was great. So maybe you need to turn your headset up. Because it's not a me problem out here. I got world-class audio out here. Uh Uh-huh. We're using the Kurt Cobain microphone. If this isn't good enough, I don't know what is. Let's go ahead and make it happen. 818-824-493. The audio was low? That's not my problem. It's a caller problem. Guys, I just listened to it back. There's nothing wrong with the audio. 818-824-4937. 818-824-4937. No, we're taking your calls right now. We're taking your calls right now. Is the is the audio bad or not? Hello? Is the audio bad or not? Hello? Guys, what does band mean? Hello? Is the audio is the audio bad or not? Shut up. I'm banning these losers. Hello, you're on the air. I can't hear you guys. What's up? Hello, hello, you're on the air. I can't hear. There's motorcycles out here. There's fireworks. I hear you just fine, brother. Who is this? This is Mark from Tennessee. Oh, it's the gym guy. No. This is the first time I've called in, man. Oh, here we go. Tennessee, by the way. You ain't, you're, in, you're up there yeah. in Nashville? No, I'm in Knoxville. Oh, shit. Oh, Kane, Kane yeah. is, uh, Glenn Jacobs is the mayor. No, I, you probably saw 828. I'm from North Carolina, but I live in Tennessee, right? That's what you saw. Yeah, but, yeah, but who, who, who's the mayor of Knoxville? Uh, ain't it Kane? Yeah, it's Kane. That's what I'm saying. It's Kane. Holy shit, bro. What's up? You're trolling, bro. You really from Knoxville? Bro, you got Kane as a mayor. Holy shit. He's based, too. He's got great takes. Yeah, and and on my side, the audio is fine. Oh, hell yeah. I was was watching your stream. I heard both the caller and, and you just fine. Well, hell yeah. Well, they're trolling in the chat. It's so sad. The cracks are showing in chat, man. It's over. Yeah. So what do you think about Starfield? You, you pissed off about the 10? 10%? Well, I mean, I don't want to be bored when I'm playing it, I'll tell you that. I mean, if, if, if they have found a solution for that and making it not boring and making it not busy work, then I think we will have fun with it. You know, the four major cities, they haven't really shown that off either. I mean, there's just a lot of stuff that we still don't know, I mean, outside of what they've shown off. And again, the four major cities, like, I I would love to see raw gameplay of maybe Todd Howard just kind of narrating. They showed a little bit of that off, where they showed Todd Howard kind of like talking a little bit through some raw kind of gameplay, but it didn't last long. And then they jumped to snippets and snippets and snippets of gameplay, and I thought, wow, we're going to get a full mission look of like, oh, maybe Todd Howard's going to walk around this fucking city and explain stuff to us i thought that would have been the right approach and granted there's still time you know there might be another showcase for starfield i'm sure there will be but with that said right now you know we're 64 days away there's no raw gameplay and you know with all these articles that have popped out 30 frames you know and not that that matters to me but you know for a lot of people that's a big concern 30 frames you know there's no land rover you know you have to kind of get back in your ship and it's a cut scene there's no seamless flying in the game so there's just a bunch of different stuff that hopefully doesn't come together in a bad way, but we'll see. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering if it's going to be like a No Man's Sky. You know, that that still felt kind of lifeless to me. So you just flew around the empty planets. But I will say, I think the 10%, I think another caller was saying earlier that 
Uh, and I think he ended up being a troll, he said. But I think that'll be a decent amount of life just depending on what planet you stay on and how, how big the cities are, you know. So, I mean, if the cities are huge, there's probably going to be a lot of busy work to do, right? So you're not going to be really flying around trying to find the, the life planets and just counting on those. Right. But, well, that, that's, what I, that's what I'm saying. If the four major cities are really that big, and, and, and they've said it's bigger than anything they've ever done before, and if it's really well done and there's tons of side quests and activity within the, in the cities and, you know, it feels lived in, then, I, yeah, the planets really don't matter. That's just, you know, extra on the, on the cake. I, I will say I am a little upset about the, uh, the DLSS on PC because I'll right. be playing on PC. I have Game Pass on both Xbox and PC, but... Uh, I do want 60 frames if I can. So, but if I had to play it on Xbox, that's fine. But AMD sponsoring the title that does kind of worry me because you go back to uh, Callisto Protocol, uh, that was that was really shitty on release as far as performance. And that oh was AMD, yeah, that was right? really bad. Yeah, lots of bugs and glitches uh, and just unfinished nature. Really, overall right. feeling. I, I don't think they'll have another showcase, but I do think that they're going to show off the raw gameplay you're talking about. I think it'll probably be within about a, uh, maybe a month from release, maybe a few weeks out. Uh, I'm sure they're going to – I feel like they're going to give it to some uh, testers out there to start showing off some gameplay a few weeks ahead of time just to get get the hype train back up, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's what over. Do you, do you, think? you think they're going to wait on that? Well, I mean, right now it's probably a little too soon, but I mean, look, the game is coming out in 64 days. So, yeah, I mean, the sooner the better. Modding is the future, Mike. I'm going to mod this game to yeah, hell and back when I get my right, hands well, on it. Uh, I'm going to add you into it and then make you into Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah, bro. Appreciate it. Thanks for calling in. Yeah, thanks. Hell yeah, we got Knoxville calling in. That's amazing. Bro, we, his mayor is Kane. That's amazing. Triadic bus coming through. Hell yeah, by the way. Appreciate that. Hell, hello, you're on the air. Hey, what's going on, Michael? Hell yeah. Hey, I just wanted to clear some things up about the Titan sub because it seemed like you didn't. No, 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 no. Let's get this guy off. Let's let's get this guy off the call list. I don't want him calling into my show anymore. He's a weirdo. Guys, that was a fucking joke. If you're taking that seriously, you don't understand how to perceive the show. That's a problem with you, not me. It was literally a fucking joke. It was a parody of Alex Jones. Hello, you're on the air, or some wacko like that. Hello, you're on the air. It's entertainment. Don't take it too seriously. Hello, you're on the air. What's your name? Where are you calling from? 818-824-4937. The number to call in right here and right now. 818-824-4937. Hello, 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 you're on the air. Where are the women? It's the 4th of July. You know, I mean, gee williker. Where are the women? You know, you got these marble mouth guys calling in saying, I don't even know what the... F I can't understand that. I don't have headphones on. I'm listening to the speakers. How do you think this is working? So there might be a slight echo because if the mic picks it up, it's two sources coming in and they might not be totally in sync. So there's just a lot at play here. You know, I'm playing audio engineer. I'm playing actor. I'm playing performer. I'm playing video engineer. There's a lot going on here. It's a one-man band. I don't have an assistant. I don't know how these fucking calls sound. How can I? How how could I understand how these calls sound? There's no way to play the call. I mean, there is a way to play the calls back, but I got to pause the fucking show. How am I supposed? To, so I got to take your word that the call-ins are not great in terms of audio, and then they call. Is this? Let, no, let, let, let's ban this guy. Let's ban this guy. You know what? Let, 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 let's not ban him. Let's let's do one last call. One last call for you. What do you got to say? We're not talking about the Titan sub, bro. We're not talking about the Titan sub. I'm going to block this guy. He's a weirdo. I don't like weirdos, okay? If you're not going to be normal, we're getting you off the air. It's that simple. I'm not talking about the Titan sub. It was a fucking joke. Jeez. I'm not talking about the Titan sub. Like, that's like three weeks ago conversation, two weeks ago conversation. It's a dead topic. Hello, you're on the air. What's your name? Where are you calling from? 818-824-4937. Hello, this is Chris Brown. Oh, hey, Chris Chris Brown. Bro, you're famous. What up, dog? It's Chris Brown. It's Chris Brown. What up, homie? You are sick, man. You're a legend. Hello? I wanted to tell you you are a legend, Mackel. Wow, Chris Brown, everybody. I don't even know who Chris Brown is, but Wow. I mean, I know he's famous. I don't know. I don't know what he does. Terrible calls today. I mean, it's just they're just so down bad. They can't be at the lake with their family or their girlfriend. I don't know. 818-824-4937. Hello, you're on the air. 
All right, we're going to block this guy, too. It's probably the same guy calling with a different number. So sad. 818-824-4937. Well, they can't keep it on, they can't keep it on track. 818-824-4937. So number to call in, 818-824-4937. Eight one eight eight two four four nine three seven. Well, it looks like we have no callers here today on the Fourth of July. Yet we have nearly two hundred and fifty people watching. Think about that. Unbelievable. Eight one eight eight two four four nine three seven. The number to call in. Is this the guy that just called in? Because I'm not answering that. No, it's not. Hello, you're on the air. Eight one eight eight two four four nine three seven. Hello, you're on the air. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hello? Who is this? <laughs> Why don't you guess? Who is this? You get three guesses. Three guesses. Oh, I know who this is. You call, Have you called in before? <laughs> Possibly. I know who this You're is. You're looking for a hint. No, I know who this is. Did You're you? looking for a hint? Yeah, I need a hint. <laughs> oh my god, we gotta, get, we gotta get, we gotta, we gotta, no, 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 what was that, bro? Hello, you're on the air, 818-824-4937. Hey, there's a rumored leak coming up, uh, this Friday, coming Friday, about Starfield's rumors on the forums. Did you hear about, uh, an ex-employee, Joe? No, I don't know anything about what you're talking about. An ex-employee Joe. What does that even mean, bro? Dude, he's one of the lead dudes at Bethesda. You don't know Joe. Oh, dude. here we go. Hey, I remember you. No, I know who you are. You want to argue? You are arguing about Resident Evil, bro. I don't want to argue. I'm asking if you heard about the leaks coming Where, Hey, let me Bethesda ask you this. Where have Joe. you been? You know, you are still watching this show for three years plus. I mean, where have you been, bro? What is going oh, on? I, I tune in and out, dude. I mean, what do you want me to say? Dude? Oh, that's fake. Fan. That's fake. Oh, my God. The fireworks. Did you just hear that? Yeah. Wow. So enthusiastic. Gee williker. Well, that's what happens when you get a job in a life. I mean, it just gets repetitive, you know. Just become a little... Uh... <laughs> Desensitized. So did you uh, oh, hear about man. the leak? No, I don't know what you're talking about. Why don't you explain it? Are you trolling? So you know Todd Howard. Yeah. You don't know his right hand man, Joe. Uh, well, I'm not. I'm not a super Todd Howard guy. I mean, I know Todd Howard, but I don't. Well, I think I know some of the Bethesda guys. Yeah. Is is that one so of the? You would know it. Hello. Yeah, you, so you should know him. Well, has you it? Ha know him. What is? What's his name? I just told you. His name is Joe. That's a lot to go off of. G. Williker, Joe at Bethesda. Wow. Yeah. Well, you're making Joe crap. <gasps> oh my God. At forty, we'll call it. Hello, you're on the air. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Michael. Who is this? The dream team, Michael. Who is Michael. this? Who is this? It's the dream team. It's the dream team. Hey, weren't you weren't you the guy that said come to Boston? We're gonna fly you out to Boston. Weren't you that guy, or was yeah. that? Oh, you know what? I'm done. I'm hanging up on these losers today. I mean, you guys got nothing to say. Where are the women at? Jesus Christ! Hello, you're on the air. What's your name? Where you calling from? Eight one eight eight two four four nine three seven. Hello, you're on the air. Hi, this is Zach. We all. I gotta get these losers off the air. I mean, Jesus Christ! These people are down bad. Eight one eight eight two four four nine three seven. Let's go! Michael. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Michael. Michael. Yeah, he hello, you're on the air. The dream team is back, Michael. We're back. Well, what are you guys going to do for world class? You guys going to Boston again? Hell yeah, dude. You're coming too, right? Let's go, baby. When are you going to Boston? Dude, you're coming too. We're when are you going to Boston? Yeah, we're fueling it up right now. We're going to come pick you up. Well, you uh, hell yeah. If you're going to if you're gonna come pick me up and you ain't bullshit, and let's yeah. fucking go. I swear to God, Michael, we're fueling it up right now. Ain't a damn way, bro. You coming right now? I swear to God. You, you coming right now, bro? The dream team? I, no, no, we're fueling it up right now. Then we're on the way. Then we're on the way. Oh. 
We got we got a setup for you on the plane. You can keep the show going in the air. Hey, no way, bro. Plane show, Mike. You're gonna get a plane show. Oh my god, bro. It's crazy, right? The dream team, baby. You bringing the women too? Dream team. You bringing the women too? Holy shit. Dude, we're bringing the women for you. Let's Michael. go, we baby. Sons. We got sons. Don't you even worry about it. What's, Michael, what's your type? We'll get you a bunch of those. What's your type? Uh, well, you know, I mean, what, what do you mean? Well, I want, what's your type? What's your type? What well, I mean, you know, you, you got like? any single mothers out there? I mean, jeez. If you want. There's no way. Like we can, we can hook it up. You're Michael. You are Michael. Does life. I'm what the best in the world at what I do. I'm a viral meme. Have you guys seen the meme on the internet? Dude, I have. I have. I no, you're so, trolling, bro. I was bro. so happy when I just saw that. I was like, holy shit, that's Michael. Yeah, I bet you were like, what the fuck is this? Like, holy fuck. Was. You were probably scrolling on TikTok and you're like, there's no way it's him. It's like, wow, what I, the fuck? Exactly Out of nowhere. I was so excited. There's no way, bro. I was so excited. Yeah. Michael, I love you. Well, that's amazing. I, I, you know, I'm glad you're a fan because we have a lot of people that aren't fans. I'll tell you that. A lot of people are just they're getting the pitchforks like, out and they just can't handle it. You know, and that's, you know, one of those things. Ever since that Lego Star Wars stream, that's when I discovered uh, you. I've been, I've, I've, I've been a fan ever since. I don't even remember playing that, to be honest. I mean, geez, that must have been. I remember. Who wants to play like, that slot? Star Wars. I remember that. Oh. Hello. Hello? What, what are you doing? It's the 4th of July. You're calling into my show? I mean, aren't you guys supposed yeah, to be lighting fireworks off and shit? I to do in a bit. I, just, I saw you were streaming, and I saw you doing calling, so I had to call real quick. Oh, exactly. Well, your buddy just called in, too. He yeah, said he was a part of the Dream gonna Team, too. Huh? Am I going to leave you hanging? No. Ex gonna, gonna exactly. We had we had to hang up on the other guy. He was getting crazy. Yeah, the other dude, he was, he was getting a little crazy. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what he's doing. You got to calm him down. He's a little drunk. Wait, who's your who who is your preferred dream team member, me or him? Well, I think you. I mean, you're rolling out the. You said you're gonna roll the red carpet out. I mean, you know. Yeah. I, oh, we don't have red carpet. I'll go get red carpet for you right now. I'll go. I will go. I don't even know where they sell red carpet, but I'll go get it for you. Damn. I mean, if you guys can make it happen, holy fuck. I mean, we're talking about the old, the, literally the dream team, literally the dream team, bro. Dream team. What'd you say? Yeah. Wait. What? Wait. What did you say? We're talking about the dream team, baby. Oh hell yeah, we're talking about the dream team. Fucking fucking dream team. Have you tried the Mountain Dew Summer Freeze? I haven't. I haven't. Uh, Baja just came back. I was really yeah, yeah, ba yeah. Baja bla bla Baja Blast. That's amazing like too. Baja? Oh, absolutely. We're going to Taco like Bell. We get that cordita grunch. Let's go, baby. Dude, let's fucking go. You got to stock up because they'll be gone again when summer's over, probably. Oh, yeah. It's a limited special. Holy shit. Yeah, so you just give, I'm going to buy like a like 112 packs and then just like have Damn, them. you're rich. 112 packs? That's like fucking $500. Well, maybe not 100. Maybe like, maybe like, maybe like 10. I don't know. There you go. Holy. Well, that's still expensive. That's like $100 right there. What you mean? That is, that is 100. That is 100. <laughs> exactly. That's, that's a like, lot of money. Holy Baja, fuck. Like, that's the Baja supply. Yeah. Well, that's fantastic, I'll tell you. It is fantastic. All right, Michael, I'll let you talk. Hell yeah, bro, appreciate it. I, I love you, though. Take care. The I Dream Team you. has reassembled. The Dream Team has reassembled. Hello, you're on the air, 818-824-4937. Guys, we had the Gamer Girl call in. We had the Gamer Girl call in. Hello, you're on the air. Chris Brown. Hi, this is Chris Brown. Well, we don't, we, don't want Chris Brown on the, we don't want Chris Brown on the air. I, I don't know who Chris Brown is. Guys, we had the gamer girl call in. I can smell Kurt Cobain's mouth. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can smell Kurt Cobain's mouth. Oh my god. Hello, you're on the air. Hello? Yeah, hello, you're on the air. 818-824-4937. I think we have lice. Hello, you're on the air. 818-824-4937. Hello? Yeah, hello, 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 you're on the air. Guys, I'm out here all alone on the 4th of July. It's a bro. sad day. It's a sad day. Bro, Get your mother on the line, bro. Get your mother on the line. Jesus Lord. I can't hear I can't hear you. Get him off the line. 
Unbelievable. 818 Let's go ahead and make it happen and make it work in a way that makes sense. Hit that like button. Communicate in the chat in a way that makes sense like the human beings do. You guys communicate. You love to communicate. We're a human being species. Communication is key. Hello, you're on the air. 818 Hello, you're on the air. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, I'm Joshua Smith from, uh, from California, man. What's up, Mac? Oh, hell yeah, bro. You out there in California? You out there in L.A. County or no? Oh, I am in L.A., man. I'm in the thick of it. I just went to Disneyland this morning and, dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. You're in L.A.? Where were you? I was just in L.A. for two weeks. Dude, I I thought I I swear to God I saw you, dude. Where? I was in Universal Studios and uh, Mario Kart. There's no fucking way, bro. You might have seen me. Are you kidding me? Dude, I'm sorry. I wanted to ask for a picture, but I was nervous. No, you're trolling, bro. No, I'm totally lying, bro. Have a good day. Oh yeah. my god, you're such a fucking loser. Get these uh, get these losers out of here, bro. Why would you call in and play along? Get off the air! That's why your mother's not playing with she's not hanging out with you. Hello, you're what? on the air. What's your name? Where are you calling from? A one eight eight two four four nine three seven. Hello, you're on the air. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Bald lesbian from Washington State. This ain't bald le- now you're trolling. No, I no, this is not bald lesbian. Come on. This is not. Th- I, no, this I've is not bald show. lesbian's voice. It is. Prove it. To go. Prove it. Name one good Switch game. <laughs> mm. um, this Mario, is this is not bald lesbian. You are bro. trolling, bro. Who the fuck's coming the through? Fuck? Dislike mean, disingenuous disinformation. This is n- this is not bald lesbian. Wheel of Dharma. Wheel of Dharma, 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 Wheel of Dharma. No, that's a bunch of Wheel of Dharma, Wheel of Dharma. No, this is this is not bald lesbian bro. Wheel of Dharma, Wheel of Dharma. Your voice changed. Wheel of Dharma. You didn't sound like this when you last called in. Wheel of Dharma, Wheel of Dharma. No, dude, I'm done. That's the fake bald lesbian. That's a loser calling it. That's not bald lesbian. Hello, you're on the air. They're impersonating people in here. You gotta be on a whole other level. Wheel of Dharma, Wheel of Dharma. You have to be on a whole other level. Let's go, baby. The good senator on the Fourth of July, baby. Let's go. Wheel of Dharma, 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 Wheel of Dharma. Hey, you know that's what it takes. We are in the the good senator. We are in the pulling teeth era like never before. Wheel of Dharma, 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 It shouldn't. It really shouldn't. But you know, I mean, even that's probably not enough. You know what I mean? Wheel of Dharma, 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 That's not enough. Wheel of Dharma, Wheel of Dharma, Wheel of Dharma, Wheel of Dharma, Yeah, exactly. Wheel of Dharma, 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 Wheel of Wheel of Dharma, 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 Wheel
And and now I'm getting chewed out. And now he's getting butt hurt. Typical. I, I don't understand. You know, Just call back in. Fans. Soft skin That's fans. all it takes. That's all it takes. You say one thing that they love so much or one wrong thing that they don't fully agree with, and it's like, wow, we're done. Fuck this channel. Fuck this show. That's all it takes. Literally, though. I mean, it, and it's incredible because they, these are the same idiot cocksuckers that will, you know, defend Mr. Beast. They will defend the cream of the crop YouTubers. They're the same, All like, the shills, yep. Right? Oh, they'll, they'll write off every wrong thing they do like it's the word of God. But heaven forbid an actual real human being, Michael Does Life, tries to give you guys something free. And now you just had enough. You just said, you know what? I'm done. You know what, guys? I mean, seriously, get your head out of the ass. It's the 4th of July. Aren't you guys supposed to be eating hot dogs or sucking That's what I'm saying, yeah. I mean, what chilling by the lake, you know? I mean, having a blast, and they're calling in, and they're chewing me out. I mean, right unbelievable. Now, baby. That's what I'm doing right now, baby. I'm by the lake. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Now, people might be looking at me weird because I'm yelling and I'm getting animated, but still, I'm by the lake. I'm outside. Exactly. We're, you know what we have in common? We're both outside. Exactly. But that's why they can't relate to the show, because these people are basement-dwelling losers. Yeah. Oh, Michael, I'm going to have to drive out there and give the reality check. I, I mean, you might have to. to. You might be it. the only one, too. Oh, man. Isn't that, and that is just such a sad situation. You know, you tried to talk about Starfield, a uh, potential game of the year, right? And nobody even wants to talk about it. Okay, so then you try to talk about something else. No, Mike, I don't want to talk about that. Fuck you. It's like, <laughs> can you just shut up? It's you know? unbelievable. You know? I mean, honestly, you showed me. Guys, if you could see some of the things Michael Does Life showed me when I came to his neck of the woods last time, you wouldn't even want to go live half of the day. This man, he puts his neck out on the line, and you don't even get it. He doesn't even, you know, he could he could really lay out the reality check for you. But you know what? He thinks that you guys don't need to hear that because guess what? At the end of the day, there's nothing you could do about it. But this guy, I mean, he literally puts his blood, his sweat, his skin, his neck on the line, and there are literal freaks that watch this show. I mean, freaks of nature that stalk his every move, and yet he still provides you content. Yeah, and, and, yeah, and here we go, bald lesbian, unbelievable. You know what, how about you just get down and start sucking Phil Spencer's cock at this point, bald lesbian, because that's probably all you're good for at this point. You have such thick, thin skin, right? Maybe that would get you a little thicker skin, right? Just getting on those knees and sucking, because that's the only thing that get you going to get those knees a little bit harder for you, okay, buddy? How about you just grow a pair down there, huh? Or grow a little bit of a hard-on for once make you feel happy or something inside i don't know man i don't know but yeah it's independence day i just had two hot dogs i'm on my fifth beer you know and i'm just listening and i'm shaking my head i'm shaking my head in disbelief at the stupidity <laughs> that you have to go through on a daily basis no wonder you have no sanity left hell no i wouldn't my god my God, man! But yeah, Michael, we're gonna we're probably gonna have to figure out a specific date. We're gonna drive down there. We're gonna collect that PlayStation Five, boy. Let's get it. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Hell yeah! Hell yeah, bro! And uh, by the way, Starfield. You know, I'm still very excited for this game. But you you raised all the necessary concerns, in my opinion. And you are right. It's starting to look more and more like. Cyberpunk, Starfield, Cyberpunk. Well, here, here we you know go. I mean? Here we go. This September, we're talking two potential disasters in the making. Oh, my God. Because Cyberpunk comes back, and the shills are saying it's a totally different game, yet you look at snippets of gameplay of it already, and it looks exactly the fucking same. It took them three years to add in police chase AI, bro. Think wow. about that. Yikes. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> dude, though. Holy I fuck. Didn't they say that was going to be one of the first things they addressed during the year one update or something, <laughs> and they never did it? Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's going to take till 2077 for the game to even make remotely any sense. 
<laughs> what a fucking disaster. And they're shilling it so hard. They're like, oh, it's actually good. It was never bad. And you guys just, even CD Projekt Red came out and said, oh, it was just the cool thing to hate on. That's literally what they said. It, so so they, they were undermining the problems of the game. I mean, you got to be kidding me. Yeah, and, and they make it like it's our fault. It's our fault for actually having a brain and, and looking at the reality. And well, if you, if you play that on PS4, if have you ever played it on PS4? Yes. You have? Without the updates? Yeah, that was the, yeah my collector's copy came in the PlayStation 4. So you, you actually put that disc in on the PS4 and you actually... Holy fuck. It's over! Oh, it was the worst. <laughs> no, I dude. it killed my PlayStation. It never has ran. Bald Lesbian <laughs> super chatted $4. I can't believe they shipped it. Bald Lesbian says he wants you in the ring right now. In the ring. Now, oh, baby, so now he's baby, be baby. He, he, he wants Andrew to go 12 baby, rounds. Baby, you know, baby, the bald, baby, the bald baby, lesbian baby, and the good baby, senator, 12 baby, rounds. Baby, baby, people wrestling. Yeah, like people wrestling. Try. People wrestling. People wrestling. People Someone wrestling, said, get this detractor off the line. People wrestling, Holy people shit. Wrestling, I mean, what is going on on the 4th of July? We're supposed to be having fun? I mean, We're supposed to be lighting fireworks off? Used? Sorry, what did you say? We're supposed to be having fun out here, and, and these people are just, right. they, they, got, they got their panties in a bunch. I'm smiling and laughing. It's all just irony and jokes, right, bald lesbian? That's what you always say. Well, bald lesbian says he wants to go 12 rounds, and then someone else said you're a detractor and they want you off the line. It's over. That's probably his alt account. That's probably his alt account. It's not over, Michael. You, me, me and you, man, we got thick skin. That's why we're still in it, right? We're still in it to win it, baby. Let's get it. That's what we're talking about. And the Dream Team called up, and they said they're ready, too. I mean, gee williker. It's the Avengers assembling. Now, this would be the greatest show on turf. You know what I mean? If we were able to pull this off. It really would. I mean, we could could get Kyle Donovan. We could get Alan Stanley. We could get the whole posse of people, man. I mean, it would be – it really would be the greatest show ever, dude. Imagine us. I mean, we would be going to the moon like Spaceman. Oh, gee. Well, you know, you're out there on that lake, and it sounds like you're talking like you're a fucking insane asylum patient. You know what I mean? It's <laughs> over. Boy, if you could see the view, I, I, I'm just, I'm literally looking to Canada right now. It's crazy. I literally can see Canada from where I'm at. Well, uh, we, we got some viewers up there in Canada. I mean, I don't know if they're all that nice, but I mean, gee, Williker. They might be a little bit nicer because it's quite clear that people in America, they got thin skin. Am I right? Yeah. Too thin. It must have been that jab they took a couple years back. It changed them a little too much. Well, I didn't take it. You know what I mean? And, and look at where we're at. I mean, we didn't take it. Well, I mean, for the best, right? I mean, could you imagine knowing what we know now? I mean, imagine taking that, dude. Well, you never, yeah. I mean, I, it, it's, it's like a whole different world. I mean, it's just unbelievable. It truly is. It truly is. And now we have to talk about this stupid little Ocean Gate thing. I mean, people don't even know what the word PSYOP is, but, you know, let, let's just talk like we know everything in the world, right? Well, everyone's an expert. Everyone's an expert on everything in here. You know, you it's start over. you start a cooking show, and everyone's a fucking chef expert. You know what I mean? It's just unbelievable. Oh my god, dude! I made so fucking true. devil super chat in five dollars. I'll give this so clown the pitchfork. I think we'd actually literally have a lot in bed with the enemy. Well, you know, the internet so gives them the god side. fantasy. Let you know, they can be you. god, and you yeah. know, they they oversee and they can just sit back and judge while they're not being judged. And and really, that that's why people use the internet. It's people that have low self esteem, and they can just around and get a window into other people's lives and start judging and that that's the fantasy that they're always gonna uh, just sit there and, and fulfill daily because that's their dopamine hit and they don't want to get out and get a real job or do anything even remotely okay. productive and that's just the reality of it so i think i figured out the internet it took me about 20 something years to figure it out but i think that's really what it is now well i think the internet has evolved right i mean people used to just make content and now and then people started to critique critique it like they, they're like yeah, they're and, and you like know, to be not, fair, that that is that. that is human nature. You know, uh, you know, people in real life, people watch, and you know, they just silently judge them in their mind. They just sit there, you know, smoke a fucking cigarette on the fucking, you know, and it's just like I get it, but at the same time, it's like, well, it's in their head. You know, they're not speaking this shit out loud. Whereas on the internet, everyone's putting a mask on. And it's like anonymity. 
it's it's an un, you know I can't even say right. the fucking word, but you know they're they're under a mask, they're under a, a, a guise, you know they're a wolf in sheep's clothing, and it's like well they can just say whatever the fuck they want, you know what I mean? So exactly, and then when they're ready, it's to pull over. Up the day, they stab it right in the back. No. Right. Louise no, you're Hernandez absolutely super right, chatted ten dollars. I mean, the I'm good trying to talk to this guy, truth. you know, to get him back on board, and then you have to tell me, well, he went on and canceled, and I know he's still with that other guy over there. You know, that doesn't make any sense to me. Well, well, I, you know, I thought you were in closer communication with him than than. I am. No, he's a good guy. I mean, we we chat. We just chatted last night. Oh. Well then, yeah. That's why I reached out yeah, to you to say, well, what's going on? I mean, I noticed he canceled his membership. Well, I don't and, and know what's going so. So I haven't really gotten that far in the conversation, but like, it's just sad. It's just sad. Well, I mean, look, I appreciate I appreciated his loyalty, and I understand. You know, we have creative differences. Everyone has different perspectives and viewpoints, and you know, I'm trying to work with people. I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to do that. And granted, you know, I did, I did kind of push a few buttons in LA because I was frustrated. You know, I was tired physically, mentally. You know, and having to put up with that. And you know, I mean, imagine being tired after a 16-hour walk. I- Wow, you, what a scumbag, Michael. How dare you be tired after a 16-hour walk? What, you aren't the Terminator? You can't just go all day, every day, bro, with the Disney Channel flow? Go neck. It's over. You know what I mean? No, but no, seriously, like, I mean, these people literally think you got to be a robot. you got to be a robot to the algorithm. you got to be a robot to your, yourself. You, gotta oh, you be just got to be, you, yeah, you got to be, yeah. you got to be always on. you got to be a slave to it. I mean. It's like those people that send in to the streamers, like, requesting them play the TTS immediately. And it's like, okay, is this my show or your show, buddy? Just because you paid me $5 doesn't mean I have to sing and dance for you and chuck and jive. You ignorant fuck. <laughs> it, is, it is incredible, Michael. You're absolutely right, though. I mean, they literally think, oh, wow, the $5. Well, I, I got to get up and do my dance. <laughs> Less than a cup of coffee at Starbucks. I mean, I saw the prices at Starbucks, and I said, holy fuck. It is expensive. One cup of coffee. Yeah, I don't even know what I don't even I don't even know what you even said that was that offensive in LA. I mean I I mean it just sounds well, like a human uh, being yeah. trying to Well, I mean I, I, I have no problem with them. I mean we might not see eye to eye. I mean that's usually what is the case, but you know, I, I am more than you know, the door's still open, you know, and if we can talk it out, that would be fantastic well, and, and you like know it's always open and people for some reason, they just want it closed. I don't understand. Well, then, you know, I mean, well, if that's what they want, then I guess that's what they want. But I don't see how you that's. You know, the people that have been. In yeah, I know. Like it's like it's like you. You've well, here, yeah, what, and, and, and he, he's not they... the only one that I've noticed. I mean, there's I don't want to say other names, but there's two or three other people that have been longtime loyal fan uh, members, and all of a sudden they just drop. And it's like, well, look, if you got bored of the show, that's one thing. But I don't think that, I don't think it's that. It's just, you know. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it. I honestly, Michael, I think it's like a disorder you get when you spend too much time online because anytime I've ever feel. Hate well, here's the thing. I mean, I mean, you, 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 you have been. You, I mean, you, you've been a member for two years straight. Like there was never a problem. So, so why is it for certain other people? I, I don't understand. I've been, I've been here since 2020. I know. That's so what three. I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, over two years. Three years. Yeah, exactly. I don't know what the problem. Well, it's it's like I, it's like the biggest fan of a rock, you know, a rock group when they finally go out of their box and they try to make something new, and and they don't like the change of direction. You know what I mean? It's like, well, what did you did you just want them to play the greatest hits all day long, or did you want them to like try something new? Right? Like they're artists, are they not? They can't innovate, create, express themselves in a different way. Is that not okay with you? Like, are are you they're they're judge, juror, and executioner. Are you kidding me, bro? Yeah, yeah. Well, when the be- yeah, well, the it's Beatles, it's- the Beatles played pop music, and then they got into the drugs, and then they went into the studio and did some like fucking LSD and said "Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds," and you know they probably lost a lot of their fucking fans too. But it's just like, well, look how and look how they Sergeant evolved. Pepper. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. Ex- you're absolutely right. Look how they evolved. They changed their music. Yeah, because they would have You're been yesterday's news. Right. Yeah, they would have been yesterday's news if they kept wearing the fucking suit and tie and said she loves you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, which is a great song. Yeah, no, yeah, and no doubt about it. Well, that. the Beatles. I mean, Jesus and Christ. Denying that, and nobody's denying that. But you know what? I'm also not denying that Sgt. Pepper is their best album. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, they evolved, and, I, and arguably, I think their best work is their later work. 
Not that their previous work is terrible, but I mean it's it's very different. No. And and you know, you know they evolved, they changed. Heaven forbid, right, Michael? Yeah, and there, and there was another guy. I don't want to say his name, but I'm going to say it because I already said it like the past two days, three days. This guy called Devin. He he super chatted and he said, oh, I'm done. I'm out. I'm never watching the show again. I miss when you did call-ins. Here we are doing call-ins consistently for the past three or four or five days, and, and, and Devin's nowhere to be found. So is that a fake fan thing? Is is it? I don't understand. We gave him what he wanted, and now they're nowhere to be found. Where, where, where's this guy at? Complexing. That is quite perplexing. You give them what they want, and, th- you know and then what, Michael, they... I, I wish I had the answer for you there. I don't know. <laughs> well, clearly no, there... It is frustrating. I see why you get... I, I see why you don't even... You don't want to fire up a stream. It's like, because it's like, well, who am I going to piss off today? You know, heaven forbid, I sneeze at the wrong time. They'll probably want a, a nine in my head. You know what I mean? Exactly. You can't do anything right. Oh man! You you just you know you're you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. I mean that that's really what it is. The cancel culture is here. Oh, absolutely, Michael. You are you hit the, you know it's amazing how many accurate statements you say. Yet nobody wants to listen to a single fucking one of them. It's it's so perplexing. You know, I mean, I hung out with you for a couple days, man, and and you're chill. You're a chill ass nibba. You know what I mean? Like you you shoot the shit straight. You're funny as fuck, you know. <laughs> well, hopefully, I, hopefully, I wasn't disappointing because you know that off the air, I'm not this animated and pretty quiet and reserved, and you know, I mean, some people might be disappointed in that. They want this version of world class, and you know, sometimes we don't give you the high energy. Today, we I think give you some decent energy. You know, it's the Fourth of July. We got to kick things up a little bit Incredible. here. You know what I mean? So, absolutely, absolutely. <sighs> Dude, I, I can I just cannot wait to see who the real fans are this coming month. That's all I have to say. I cannot wait to see who the real ass fans are this month. You know, you have some big people talking some big games. I want to see where that that you know where they put that money where their mouth is at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. Thirty. They got they got thirty days from right now. Who's going to be the first true fan to come on out? Exactly. Exactly. But yeah, man, I I will uh, I'll try to consult him. Um, I mean, he he's all good with me. I didn't even know he uh, he decided to uh, hang up that badge. That was well. I mean, la- last last I checked, last I checked, it wasn't uh, it didn't pop up. I mean, sometimes it does glitch like that, but I I don't think that is a glitch. And you know, I I would like to talk to him and per- you know off the air as well. I mean, I don't you know we're not it, it doesn't have to be on the air. It's not for the show. Um, you know, I just want to see where he's at, and hopefully he's okay. I mean, we don't have to, you know, see eye to eye. I don't hate anyone. Um, but, you know, because, you know, he has supported the show. He, he was the first guy to be on the show, the first fan to be on the show. And it was a special moment. Yeah. It was a special moment. Yeah, and, and you know, I, I don't, I it, you know, and there's a couple of other cats that have done the same, and, you know, um, I don't know. Yeah, no, you got traditional artists. He's still here. He comes through every day. You got Kyle motherfucking Donovan. Oh, yeah. I mean, the guy is oh, yeah. king. What, what a king. I mean, Bro, really, really just Richard incredible. Just an incredible oh, guy. Thing. Like, just an incredible guy. He really is. No, he really is, though. And I've only, I haven't even been had the luxury of meeting him in person, but the guy is just a real ass motherfucker. Oh, yeah. I mean, Kino and Comfy. He's based. He's chill. I mean, just the total package. I'm not even joking. The total package. If I were gay, I mean, fuck. Woo. I, I you know what I mean? It, man, the guy's a goddamn. He's a king. sex. He's he, he's a, he's a, he's a god. I mean, you know, I mean, in terms of the, the, I mean, Jesus Christ, like a Greek god, like put a statue up. I mean, just so unbelievable. Uh, is he tall in person? Uh. Well, I I, I don't remember. Okay. Is he, is he? Okay. Okay. Well, that's fine. Maybe. I was just you were saying Greek God, you know, so Greek gods tend to be a bit taller. Exactly. Yeah. Man, I you know what, Michael? I'm I'm really looking forward. I mean, I all I have to say is I'm <laughs> really looking forward to this PlayStation Five because Lord knows. Wait, you're you're, 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 say, you're saying you're going to make an attempt? You're going to make an attempt to come on out? We're we are going to do our best. To okay. Because the there might there might be one o- there might be one other competitor. There might be one other competitor unless they're pulling chain. So uh, far. Are you talking about the little Caesars guy. 
Who the hell's that? Little Caesars. I thought that was the guy. I thought that was the guy that just came, called in. Oh, I don't know. No, I don't know who that is. Okay. Well, they say there's someone and then they're not, and it's like, who the fuck's this? Right? Yeah, Unbelievable. It's hard to play. The sun is well, setting. People are, you know, they, it's over! Huh? What? What? Exactly. Man, you're out there on that yacht. I mean, I knew it. You're out there on that uh, yacht. You you're soaking up the sun. I mean, holy oh. shit. Oh, my God, the family right now, they're looking at me perplexed and everything. They're like, why does this guy keep walking around, talking to his Oh, glasses? my God, you're out there pacing. I knew it. Holy shit, bro. Oh, yeah, you already know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I guess, I'll keep the, I guess I'll keep the wheels moving, man. And, uh, hell, yeah, I can't wait for that brand new PlayStation. Here we Bye, go. Baby, let's get it. Version 1.0, it's All a right, hot dude. commodity. It's rare. That's what we're talking about. Let's get it. All right, happy Fourth of July, by the Hell way. Hell yeah, it, 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 yeah, you today. you you enjoy the lake. Thanks, King. Hell yeah, bro. Take care. All right, folks, we are still on the air. Eight one eight eight two four four nine three seven. We got seventeen percent on battery. Eight one eight eight two four four nine three seven. Eight one eight eight two four four nine three seven. Here we go. So was that bald lesbian or not? Are we still trolling on that? Hello, you're on the air. 8188244937. Hello, you're on the air. What's your name? Where you? Who is this? It's the devil. What's where the hell? Man? Where the hell have you been? Oh, I've been sick. Oh man. Well, you should have. You should have took that vaccine. <laughs> no. Hell no. Oh man. What ha What is going on? You went through puberty. Listen to that voice. Oh. Oh, it's so deep. You know, that Diablo is changing it. Yes. How many hours you gotten into Diablo? Let me guess, 200. Oh, God. Probably. There's no way, bro. I'm, I'm nearing 70. I got to get I gotta get that. Uh, That's done. all? Done. 70 hours? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, you know, I'm lazy. Oh, man. Well, you're still in the IT business, right? Or did you move to something else? Ah, oh, they fucking let me go. I thought you had. I thought you did it on your own. Uh, I mean, to an extent. Yeah. That shit's expensive to try and get stuff started by yourself. Yeah, I know. You gotta, you gotta spend some to make some. Yeah. Oh lord. It's over. <laughs> the good senator. The good, more like the good fence sitter. Oh man. It's over. Put his ass on the fucking Titan. Oh my God, bro! What ha What went wrong? You guys got beef. It's over. Oh, uh, well, you know, you know, I'm not the only one. I'm not the one that's uh, in bed with the enemy over there. It's over. It's over. Starfield, seriously, seriously. And, and, and listen, Bethesda explains while Starfield will be a modder's paradise. Yeah, it'll be a modder's paradise because they didn't even finish the fucking game. 10% of the world have wildlife? Are you kidding me? <laughs> and and, and there, there's there's not any form of, uh, of, of land travel vehicles, right? No. What, what, the, what the fuck are you supposed to do? Roam around on the jetpack, bro. What you mean, homie? It's just, just like No Man's Sky. That's all I can do. That's all I can do is just look at it. Uh, that's all you can do. Like, what? What, what is? This is the last thing that that Bill Spencer and Xbox has, and they can't deliver. They can't fucking deliver. And they partnered up with AMD, so it might be. It might be. It might not be. But it might be a mess on PC. Because if you're an NVIDIA user, and most people are for GPUs, I mean, no DLSS. I mean, you know, you, you have to have that stuff. I mean, to improve performance. I mean, that's just, you know, part of the standard sort of release. And that might not be a thing because they did partner up with AMD. So, you know, you have, you have this fancy GPU, 40 series, if you have that or whatever. And you can't even really utilize it because it might not be having a deal. Oh, my God. It's over. It's over. 
Well, I mean, imagine having a 40 series GPU and it's the frame, you know, whatever the fuck it's called, frame regeneration, where it just kind of builds the frames, machine learning, AI, all that bullshit. And you can't even, that's apparently not even a fucking thing. 30 frames a second, no DLSS, nothing to do in the game. I mean, well, that's what I said. It's a game. It's a game. A Game Pass game day one. I mean, you, you got to play it on Game Pass. I mean, imagine going out and spending seventy bucks on this on Steam. Oh, oh no! Because the two hour oh, ref- no. the two hour refund window isn't going to be enough. Well, I was going to play it on uh, Game Pass. Either That's either what I'm or, saying. Yep, you know, Game Pass. I, shit, I'll I'll try it on uh, Xbox first. And then but I mean, I mean, look at what's happening. You know, there's no raw footage. I'm not saying it's the next Cyberpunk because we do have the next Cyberpunk approaching the same fucking month, Phantom Liberty DLC, and that's going to be another disappointment. So many people are hyping that up to be the 2.0 version, and it's like everything the game should have been at launch. All this fucking it's bullshit. Over. Holy shit. Shadows 99, clad in Shadows 99, coming through hard and strong, baby. That's what we're talking about. I'm super shattered $20. Happy, Happy 4th of July, Michael. Hell yeah, bro. That's what we're talking about. Clad in Shadows 99, coming through really hard, when really strong with the $20 super chat. Yeah, it is the 4th there, of July. There, there's no blood or gore in this game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was one thing that one of the callers called in, and they said, there, there is no blood and gore. There's no bullet holes. Like, bro, what is, I mean, well, maybe there's bullet holes, but there is no blood and gore. And I thought, well, wait a minute. What about Fallout 4? Does Fallout 4 have blood and gore to some extent? And I guess it does. Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah. And and you're telling me that uh, this does, oh, man. They, they went so modern with Fallout 4, too. Like, Fallout 4 for me was only like a one and done. Uh, yeah, I, I, well, with, I didn't even with, finish uh, it. I mean, I got, I got to the baseball diamond, and, like, there was this fucking Benjamin Franklin skeleton guy, and I thought, well, this is kind of cool, but that's just the hub base, and it's, it, your decisions don't matter. Once it was revealed that everyone went through the game and they said your decisions really don't matter, I lost interest in the game, and I kind of basically just stopped playing it from there because it's like, well, it's just a false illusion of, like, well, if you choose this, something else happens, and it's like they didn't even showcase that in this. And it's like, where's the RPG here? Where's the RPG? It's like, oh, you can customize your character, you can customize your ship, you can do this, you can do that. But it's like, okay, do your choices matter? Are there going to be multiple, you know, like, none of that was even even slightly even talked about to any, any extent. I, I know a lot of people were talking about, like, um, the customization in the game, and I was like, okay, I'm here to play Fallout. I'm not here to play fucking Minecraft. I just hope it's not another cyberpunk where it's just, like, linear story looter shooter more so than RPG because it's like in Cyberpunk you can customize your character to your heart's extent and it's like well it's not even in third person so it's like you can't really see that half time and then you know that makes no sense but it's like well that's not an RPG and I, I'm hoping that this is going to not focus so much on just the customization elements and calling it a day and saying well this is that, that classic RPG it, it, it seems like they're doing the bare minimum with everything from the you know the, the space battles to the um, the gunplay combat to like I I don't know what kind of story it will have but I would assume that you would just get the story done and out of the way and then you would have just bare nothingness on just just about every planet that you fly to you know and and, and what are you going to go to the planets for to just to you know you step foot on there like the fucking moon and be like okay well I visit this planet. I'll grab whatever resources I can from here, and then I'll go to another one. You know? Oh yeah, you, you can customize your ship, but you know, what, what if I wanted to destroy some of those planets? They never did think about that. I, like 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 you were saying, if they if they cut back on how many planets they had, and it wasn't just bare nothingness on those planets, and maybe scaled it down to twelve or twenty planets, and you have the option of going around and like a big giant ship, you know, star destroyer, and just destroying planets and being the ultimate badass. And you had a shift between good or evil. I mean, they didn't even think about that. I, I see nothing in this game that's going to keep me entertained past the whatever storyline, whatever woke bullshit of a storyline they give me. Whenever I get past that, it's going to be a, a one and done ordeal. Did they even say what the the uh, the download size is for this game? I think it's like 120 gigs. Oh no! Yeah, well, this is no different than freaking Call of Duty. 
two hundred something gigs to play the game. For that that play. shit's like, ridiculous, bro. That different. is ridiculous. They need to learn how to optimize these fucking games. I mean, what world are we living in? It's like we're back in night. I don't even understand. 120 gigabytes for these modern games? Dude, Star Wars Jedi fucking Order or whatever the fuck that game's called. Fallen Order, whatever the hell the game's called. Survivor. Dude, that game was 150 gigs, I believe, and I'm sure it's even more now. It's, are, you, are you kidding me? That's like half the fucking hard drive space of the standard console. That game was trash, too. Unbelievable. Yeah, oh, so bad. I played probably less than 10 hours of that game. You know, I, I thought about going back to it and experiencing the It's just a, line, It's just I, the same thing on repeat. It's just, you know, I, do do some wall running, parkour, and then, you know, slice up some fucking stormtroopers with your lightsaber. There's nothing to the game. It's just a bunch of platform trash. Oh, it's trash. Yeah. They might as well have Darth Vader come back and say, hey, Luke, I'm your fucking father. Because, I mean, that would be more interesting, and maybe he does, but that'd be more fucking interesting than this, like, Garbage ass g- junk they have. I mean, the Ubisoft game looks better than that. I'll, I'll tell you that. And that, yeah. you know, I mean, I'm, I don't even know. I I've never seen one Star Wars film, so I don't know what I'm even looking at. But I mean, I can tell you just from a gameplay perspective, like that's got to be a more interesting game, at least as an RPG, right. hopefully. So I don't know. What, what what about the ability to to shoot and kill? You know, the NPCs in the game. That's what that I'm was saying. One of the coolest things in in Fallout, you could, you know, especially with New Vegas, you could literally kill the 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 quest giver, and then all the quests associated with that particular yep, NPC, they'd be gone. You missed out on. Yep. Yeah. yeah, and that was a cool thing. It's like you 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 are you know this is your story. You can carve it out how you want, and that's kind of the the tagline here for this game. But it's like what to what extent, and that, that's what I really thought they should have shown off. Because they basically just kind of reiterated on what they've already shown off, you know, the previous year. And it was just more of like, hey, you can customize your ship. And it's like, well, we learned that last year. And it's like, hey, I can build animals out of my ship that look like animals. And it's like, what are we, what are we doing? You know, show me the RPG. It's like, well, what did we learn new about Starfield in this showcase? I mean, a little bit here and there, but nothing like groundbreaking new. Like, I wanted a raw gameplay walkthrough, or at least, you know, chunks of gameplay where Todd Howard was narrating, and they started off like that, and I thought, okay, they're going to show us a mission, and then they didn't show us a mission. Then they cut it to fucking B-roll and talking heads, and it was just unbelievable. It, it, this just seems like a last-minute decision game with a fucking I. Hello? Hello? Oh, my God. Hello? 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 All right, we have low battery. 10%. 10% low battery. Hello, you're on the air. Oh, Lord, what happened? Cut me off. What happened? I don't know. It just ended. It's over. It's over. Oh, that yeah, was well, crazy. No, I was saying that the, the game is, is is a game with a fucking identity crisis, man. It might be. Yeah, and I, I like you said, and like I said previously, I think had they scaled it down to like 10 planets and really honed in on those 10 planets, I, I think it might have been a more fleshed out experience. And it's like, well, you kind of have to make it big because it's a space game, and it's like that's the appeal of a space game. It's like, well, explore into the unknown, and we have quantity here, 1,000-plus planets and four major cities and blah, 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 blah. And it's like, that's great, but it's like, you know, we can hear Todd Howard say it's going to be curated content, and, you know, the planets are going to tell you beforehand, before you visit the planets, what it's going to offer and stuff like that. And it's like, well, that's great because I wouldn't want to waste my time on a planet that has nothing to really see or do on it outside of collect this fucking thing or that. But, I, you know, this thing has to really come together. And I don't know if it's going it, to – it's got to retain the attention of gamers. And if it's just, you know, empty planet after empty planet and just collecting resources and trying to build up your base, and it's like, how is that different from the Fallout 4 base building? I don't – imagine in Fallout 4 if it had enough – like, I don't know. I don't know. It, it's it's going to be hard to – it's going to be hard to – um. it's going to be hard to figure this one out. Yeah. This one compared to like No Man's Sky, you know, given I haven't played all that much of No Man's Sky, it feels like just a reiteration of No Man's Sky. With with you know some some of the the uh, the aspects. Well, yeah, but yeah, but at least in No Man's Sky, you can get on your ship and land it wherever you want, and plus it's seamless flying into the atmosphere, into the fucking space. 
cosmosis. Um, whereas in this, you you want to get back on the ship and put your ship somewhere else on the planet. You got to watch a cutscene. You got to go back up, then watch another cutscene to go back down. So it's not seamless. And I think that I think yeah. that might actually be annoying. After and granted, modders are probably going to fix that, but still. Well, I can imagine at 4K 30, when you know, especially on PC or even on consoles for that matter, whenever you're getting into a, a, a heated um, sky battle or something like that, whenever things are starting to ramp up and you have so much on screen at one time, you yeah. know that frame rate is going to drop below 30. Well, I mean, yeah. The, no, oh, oh, yeah. Trash. Oh, yeah. Well, and that's why the DLSS on PC should have been there day one, despite them partnering up with AMD, because that would obviously help performance. And you know, it might need help. It might it might need that to uh, elevate it to that next level in terms of performance, because trying to play these games without DLSS, um, especially at higher resolutions, I mean, good luck. You got to have a pretty beefy fucking rig, 3K plus. You know, right. I mean, it's crazy. Because th these these PC, I mean, even even Cyberpunk upped the 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 requirements for Cyberpunk. I'm pretty sure. Like for the yeah, DL, for the yeah, upcoming yeah. DLC, they, they they actually increase the um, requirements to play it, which is insane. It's gonna, yeah, it's gonna burn out everybody's computer. Imagine, yep. imagine if Cyberpunk DLC is better than Starfield. Oh, bro! Oh, bro! <laughs> well, then it's over. I mean, it's just like, what are we doing here? Well, first yeah. of all, the, the fucking DLC for Cyberpunk should be free for players that bought the damn game when it came out. I think there should have been a certain window or at least a discount like, hey, you guys bought the game. You guys were there when it was fucking shit. But they don't seem to think that. Nonetheless, I think they should have offered a sort of discount at least for the DLC oh, yeah. to say, hey, if you, if you bought the game on launch, you know, I mean, I know they did that whole refund thing. But if you bought oh, the yeah. game, but I don't know. Well, there might, there I, could I, be, there could be two big disasters come September. So, yeah, really. I hope really. not. I hope not. But if, if they are disasters, at least one, at least this is cheaper than Cyberpunk, though. Right. Because I think yeah, Game Pass, be, Game Pass, one month of Game Pass, maybe what, fifteen bucks? A little steep, but. I think it went up fifteen, sixteen. Yeah. Jeez, yeah, that's a little steep. But I mean, that's better than paying seventy, I suppose. Yeah. Now, me and Sony Punk, we're gonna we're gonna try it out and. Yeah, our, I, I our think that yeah on. that that's the best that's the best way to. I, I know there's a there's, there's a there's a big addition that allows you to play this a few days early, but you got to be crazy to to pick that one up. Well, we already know that Senator picked that one up. I mean, he told me that. Oh to his man, headset, his headset to work. Yeah, I know. He already bought the headset. You know, he's just buying right into it, isn't he? He's buying. It's oh, a bit yeah. of a drag, isn't it? He's just buying right into it, just like he did with Cyberpunk. You just can't can't ignore the hype. I mean, you look. To be fair, the, the start. Rod Howard just fucking shove it in me. Well, I mean, to be fair, the controller does look sick and the headset looks cool. But I mean, no. yeah, I'm not gonna go out and buy that stuff. And look, if the game's great, I'll go out and buy it. You know, I'll, I'll buy. It. I'll pick the controller. Looks fucking badass. I ain't gonna lie. The controller looks sick. Yeah. It does. But you know, the game has to be good. Otherwise, it's just junk lying around. Of like, oh, this is what it could have been. And it's like Hogwarts Legacy. It's like I wanted bully within the Hogwarts within the Harry Potter universe, and I didn't get that. It was it was linear garbage. It was fucking. Oh, just a terrible game. Really, one of the most disappointing games. What one of the most disappointing games, Hogwarts Legacy. I mean, it's just so, it's so shallow, bro. I mean, it's just so so shallow. You know, there's no time schedule. It's not like Bully. You can't even. I mean, it is bad. It is bad. It is terrible. It is bad. It's it's, it's just riddled with fetch quests. That, yeah, that's all it is. There's no classes you can go to. It's just a part of the mission. Like there's nothing dynamic. I mean, it is it is a wa it's a wasted potential game. Is really what it is. But I guess if the sequel, yeah, if they ever do that in the next ten years, they can maybe figure it out by them. So that that's my thing with a lot of these games coming out here. Like if we didn't have games like Diablo Four, uh, Zelda, Starfield, even the DLC. Um, for Cyberpunk here, all these other games that are coming out are just remakes. We're just rehashing everything. No one has any good new idea to bring to the table. And somehow us gamers are throwing down 40 to $60 for a quote-unquote new game. It's nothing new. We've played it before. It's just with a splash of extra paint on there to make it look better and maybe perform a little bit better than, than the original. But, you know, at the heart of everything, if you've already previously played it, I mean, 
if if they don't do anything like like they've done with Capcom and Resident Evil Four and their whole reimagining of Resident Evil Four, then it's just it, it's just a rehashed experience and and it's just a cash grab. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, look, you compare the Dead Space remake to Resident Evil 4 remake, and, uh, you know, I, I, I'll say the Resident Evil 4 remake is a little bit more interesting because the Dead Space remake kind of played it a little too safe, in my opinion, where they just basically said, hey, here's the same thing. I mean, they changed a little bit, and, you know, it's got modern themes in it, and that's not anything new. But nonetheless, you know, they said, hey, 70 bucks for the same game that you played back in 2008, and I thought, well, what's really new here? I mean, outside of better lighting and, you know, a few bells and whistles here and there, it's like, I don't really think this is worth that. But I guess a lot of people enjoyed it, and that's all that matters. However, with the Resident Evil 4 remake, I mean, it's basically an all-new fucking Resident Evil game inspired by the original, and it's like, well, at least they did do something new here. I mean, is it changed for the better? I don't know. <laughs> no, but, um, yeah, you got to find that balance between, you know, remaking anything. you got to stay close to the source material, but you can't deviate too much from it. Otherwise, it's unrecognizable. And I think Rob Zombie had that issue, too, when he was remaking Halloween, where it's like, well, he has to cater and pander to the John Carpenter classic, and then he also wants to do his own thing. So it's basically like fucking two movies in one movie because he couldn't, you know, you, you got to stay close to it. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, hard, it's a hard thing to, to, to really make happen in, in a way that makes sense, really. Very true. Very true. Hell yeah. A lot, well, listen. A lot of game companies don't want to step outside of the. Yeah. Yeah. Well, listen, the battery is about to die here. We're going to wrap this oh, up. We shit. appreciate you calling in. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah. Take Hell care, yeah, devil. Bro. We appreciate everything. Hell yeah, man. You too, man. All right. All right, folks, that is going to do it for today. Happy 4th of July, folks at home. Nope, we cannot take more calls. The battery is done with. We do appreciate you guys for tuning in, tagging along, support the show, and we will see you guys later. It's over. Hey there, mister. Who let the damn simpleton out of the asylum?